back at it again. Another Pam White Central podcast episode. I'm one of your hosts, Uncle AK. With me, I got my other host, man. You know what I mean? MCJB, what's good with you, brother? Oh, man. It's Wednesday, right? I was thinking yes. it's Tuesday. At least. So getting closer to the end of the, the week. It's wonderful. Minnesota is getting very warm. And I'm liking it. The world is a better place. And I pray for those who are out there in the Middle East. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys, is uh, water is turned back on. Man, you, yeah, it was crazy because the whole of yesterday there was no water. <laughs> there was no water, shit. so it was crazy. <laughs> there was, there was no, so the trick was this is what I told them. Fortunate enough, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. We happen to have um, a little bit more bedrooms. I think bathrooms. I think five. So mm-hmm. they went and used three, and they forgot that we had two extra where we could go use. So guess what? I smuggled myself into one of those and I used it. Then uh, wifey was like, "Hey, there's no water." I was like. Remember, you have a restroom downstairs. Then she went there and thank God. But they brought back water around 9 p.m. So it was it was good. Nice, but nice, nice. It's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, you 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 relieve Cameroon small, just small like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, what's good with you, bro? What's popping? What's popping? Man, your Same. chopstick Same. ran away today. Say my what? Ran away? Your chopstick ran away today. When I'm chopstick with you there. No problem. Oh, my chapstick? Yeah. <laughs> Next time, pronounce it correctly. Man. Sorry, I'm sorry, confused. sorry, sorry, American child. Your your chapstick? It's chapstick. See? Chopstick. It's not chopstick. It's chopstick, I was thinking you were calling me Shinshong. Oh, my God. Doesn't change the fact that I ran away. But anyways, continue. Um, T, what's good with you? <laughs> You're like, wow. <laughs> I'm doing well. How's everyone doing? Hey, we are good. We are good. We are good. Anyways, man. Yeah, pretty tea. Um, Babazis, I see you joining there. What's good with you? Hope you're well. But yeah, man, this episode is sponsored by SITM Podcast. Go follow them on all streaming and social platforms. Hit that subscribe button, you know, um, for weekly notifications. And also follow Palmer Central or social platforms. It's PWC Cast and um, all streaming platforms, Palmer Central Podcast. For weekly notifications, you know what I mean? We're on YouTube now, as you can see. So hit that subscribe button again if you've not subscribed to get weekly notifications. Hit the ringer too so you get that ding that we dropped an episode. <laughs> but yeah, man, right. let's get it. Um, FCJB, I beg, help me. Let's, let's get on this Lord yeah. today because, you know. Yeah, Lord. Lord. <laughs> why? why? <laughs> Please, Why? Lord, what, did I do? what did I do? Nothing. What is your name, Lord? Why is my name Lord? Yes. Is there anything yeah. behind your name? Man, that one, my father is the one, is the one in control of that one. Okay. Have you ever tried changing your name before? Hell no. You like it, huh? Someone likes that name. Listen. It's a it's a great conversation starter, so I always use it. It's it's always in my back pocket. So I have a question. You know, yeah. as a way, if you spell okay. the Lord right, like Lord, like lowercase L O R D, you know, some mm-hmm. people will yell at you. You know what I mean? So if I spell, if I'm referring to you, and I go, and I want to refer to the Lord too, and I spell you to L O R D the same way, how do I differentiate if I'm talking to you now? <laughs> I yeah, mean, depends on who you're talking to, man. I'm saying you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're talking to me, but you're talking you, about the Lord. You, you will know because only one will answer. Yep. <laughs> That's a good one. So, Lord, well, let me ask you a question. Oh, yo. When you make love, would you have your lady say your name? When you're having sex? Hey, yo. Yes, well, Lord. I... Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yo, Therese. Would you... <laughs> I feel like I feel like you've been practicing, girl. <laughs> would, you, would you have a lady say your name? Like, I wouldn't say I'll have her say it, but it's happened in the past. Okay, do tell, please. Oh, it's happened in the past. And how? Please do. It's, I mean, the come on, like she says it, like the way. No, 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 please. I mean, no, you but, tell us. Please, please, don't don't tell me. us. Tell us exactly what happened. <laughs> <It's just laughs> interesting. <laughs> I mean, you know, while we were in action. They'll be like, oh, Lord. Like, you know, one of those. And <laughs> so it's you, so you or? 
at this point, it doesn't matter because the doing is doing. <laughs> so <laughs> by the time we're done, I'll also say thank you, Lord. But <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, wow! I, came I, I, I thought about that. it the other day. Okay, okay. Nah, but like it, so, it, um, it, it always, it's always cliche to me. Every time I, I, every time I hear it. So, um, I always like, oh gosh, I like roll my eyes like that thing. Yeah, I would be scared too. Yeah. Do you know do you know my name in in English? God is like who calling my name? Do you know my name in English? Do you know my name in English? My name, not in French. Do you know the meaning of my name in English? Uh, John the Baptist? Yeah, John the Baptist. That's my name in English. Oh, so, what uh, is it? Yeah. What is it in French? Jean Baptiste. Jean Baptiste. Oh. Yeah, so when they call me John the Baptist, I feel like, okay, I am the one who was actually beheaded, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to lose my head. <laughs> so Not when they call it. you Lord, what are your expectations when somebody calls you Lord? Uh, I mean, biblically, like, I'm just like, I just have to, I, well, it all depends. It all depends. It all depends on the circumstance. So, yeah. Uh, okay, no, I've had, I just feel like maybe they call you Lord, you're thinking like you have to give them money and something. Well, well, okay, you can jump on. You can jump on with that. Come on, just pause and just turn around. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the Lord sorry, actually sorry called him. That. The Lord <laughs> called <laughs> him. <laughs> the Lord I called him. I was receiving message from above, from higher power. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man. But what I was saying was, like, I don't really, I don't really, um, I, other than, you know, just being Lord and, being good, treating people equally, you know, being that good Samaritan, that's that's literally all I think of. Mm -hmm. Just being a good person. You cannot tell but, me you've never broken a girl's heart. Was it my fault? I mean, does it matter? <laughs> Let's just go with the flow right now to see where we land right every, for the thought process. Every, every, <laughs> everybody gets their heart broken once in a while, man. For sure. But you cannot tell me that it's always a girl that was on the wrong. You've done it, you know, illegally, not the legal way. At least one time. Bro, yep. Nah, I wouldn't think I have, bro. Okay. I don't. If, oh, wow. No I'm problem. Recalling. No problem. Let's act like you are so perfect, right? Now, for the one that you are saying that wasn't your fault, being that you know your name is <laughs> Lord, right, and uh, the girl is vexed, and she remembers that her name is Lord. What is this conversation like? Is she like? Yo, CJ, Lord, do you, why can you not sorry me? Why are you treating me like this? Da, 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 da. I mean, if somebody's name is Simon, they're like, well, Simon Peter rejected Jesus. <laughs> so, no problem. <laughs> but your is the Lord, like, why can you not, in that moment, right, since it's still her fault, why can you not just say, you know what, don't worry, I got you. You still walked away. Why? Because I won't lie to myself. The truth is the truth, man. And that's something I have to live with. Like, I ain't about to be with no shorty because. Uh, because my my uh, because I was slapped outside of my mother out of the womb and, and given that name, like that's just my given name. I don't have to. Is, is it by force? I didn't choose that. <laughs> but I am very forgiving. I tell you that much. Like I don't hold grudges. I, like I'm not about to gonna act like I'm perfect. No, but I'm I'm a lot more chill than most people. And when it comes to conflict, I've never fought in my life physical altercation people have i've got jumped i've got like swung at especially by women all the time but i just i don't i don't i don't like to put my hands on people so like you never catch me that angry or you know frustrated to the point where i choose the left instead of the right like i just always i walk away okay you're, you're saying all these nice things. Thanks. Have you ever had sex to make love? Are you Have you had sex on a Sunday? Yo, this man. <laughs> Come on, man. Keep Sabbath holy. Keep, 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 keep Sabbath holy. Keep the Sabbath holy. I know Sabbath is Saturday, but we, took, we take Sundays to be Sabbath. So have you ever had sex on a Sunday? Usually my favorite day to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we can go now. We can move over now. <laughs> See, do you have anything for Lord? <laughs> nope. Don't judge me. Judge your mama, man. Like Sunday, Sunday is my day to relax. So when I'm relaxed, I'm at home. And if I have a partner, 
Come on now. After we're done reading a Sunday. Bible, we'll read each other. Sunday has to be holy, bro. Yeah, it's holy. You know, as people think of changing their name, I mean, you know, as people change their names, right? Have you ever thought about changing that one? I did. Like, has there ever been a, yeah. is there a question mind? Like, the, like Lord? Yeah. Or who? Lord, yeah. Nah. Never nah. question mind. It's, nah. And I never even knew my name was Lord until I came to America. <laughs> so what were you called back home? What were you called back Mbai? home? Mbai. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you never Mbai. seen your birth, sir? Why no. Babe, how no. old? AK, how, AK, the only time I saw my basic together was when I was in form five, all levels, man. Where, how old was... were you when you moved to the US? Uh, nine, ten. Had you written common entrance by then? No, I don't think so. No. Yeah? No. He was not as mad. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's going deep, man. He was not as mad. He was not like some of us. No, my, my, my parents handle everything. That's all. Mm -hmm. The Lord has called again. <laughs> He's got again. Yeah. <laughs> Man, bring the bring the woman to come say hi. Bring her to come say hi, man. Listen, listen. I don't know if you guys been paying attention, but they said the Lord's coming, bro. So I've I've just been getting signs and signs left and right. The day's oh, coming. I see this one one pastor who was saying something around um, April nineteenth of next month in Nigeria. The Lord is coming, and its rapture is on the nineteenth of April next month. I'm so. AK, I'm make sure you rock your new shoes now before it's late, man. No, nah, don't worry. I'll rock you when the Lord comes to take me with. <laughs> no, okay, rock you on that day. <laughs> where, you... where they, where they are trip me or die? Which one? Trip me or die. I don't have trip me or die. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> okay. That's a that's that that that's a pigeon name. Trip me or die. Yeah, trip me or die. The the one with the the long, the long front, the pognos one. Oh, Pontinini. Pontinini. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard it's that one. I've never heard that one before. You never uh, heard I that thought you were talking about, you're talking about spikes. <laughs> no, I was just thinking of, you know, Christian Louboutins. Nah, man. I'm talking like Chuk Mia Dai. Like, that, that, that guy in dress shoes, like, if you just throw somebody, yeah, they're dead. And it's okay. usually... You guys seen remember what remember that in Pei where we used to wear trump oh yeah I mean pantalon trumpet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. You see so all these rappers now that are wearing, you know, those things like, you know. Lord, did you just <clears> say <throat> mm -hmm? You couldn't even know your name. You're talking I... about mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you to say something. I've been waiting. I'm like, please be really too quiet right now. Cause I know you I know you still mad about mm. that, that comment on, on IG. But Continue. Okay. Oh. For the, okay, and, and, oh, wow. and for people like me who may not even know what that is. Know what? What is it? The pantalon. Oh, you're chocolate. well groomed. You're well groomed, man. Look at your nails. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I don't I don't play around. Mm, nice. Do you put them in places? What do you mean? In places. Yes, you put your fingers no. in you put them in places. You put your fingers in places. Eh? These fingers have a mind of their own. Sometimes they come back and I'm like, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll, ask, they'll, then they'll tell me to smell, smell, it, smell me and you figure it out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I'm talking about that, right? I was talking to my classmate the other day and I brought this up. I think that was in, I don't know, was it from three or from four? So they would actually go around and play with little with their girlfriends or some friends. Uh, and they will come back to the uh, the dormitory, and they will have me smell their fingers. That's how I'm running there because I was I was the godly type. Okay, like oh, you have to smell this finger, man. It was it was so it was so crazy. One time I smelled it. <laughs> that was a proof that you did something that night. Yeah, since I'm I wasn't smelling. doing, I had to be the one smelling. <laughs> And that's me. And then so they will leave from that place. I walk all the way to the dorm without washing their hands, just so they prove that something happened. Yeah, you have to smell it. If you don't smell it, there's no proof that something happened. That's not. Wait, what that's, was that's too, much, like, that's too much to prove right there, man? Wait, T, did you go to boarding school? No, sir. Oh, Lord, 
No, what am I asking you? Uh, I barely even knew my first, my full first name. Oh, uh, MCJB, how was boarding school, man? I mean, I keep hearing people talk about boarding school, but like, if you could talk about, like, you could say the your three top things you really liked about boarding school and three bottom things, what would that be? Hunger. <laughs> that's oh. three, that's bottom, right? Your hunger was a top hunger. Yeah, I was always hungry. From one, you have to eat everything from your trunk before you focus. Number two, oh, the spirituality. I went to a I went to a Catholic school. I knew I was going to be a priest. I always say that all the time. So we're going to church Monday. We're going to church Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yep, Mondays and Thursdays. You have to clean up. How long is and church? The last one was um. Church is 40 minutes every morning. Good. At least. And then when we have the station of the cross, like now during Lent, it's one hour. So one, one hour 20, one hour 30, because you have to do the sign of the, the station of the cross every morning before service, before mass. Then the last one uh, of my list was witchcraft. You know, back home, man, boarding school was one of the things I really envied other folks because I just thought about Sleeping someplace else, waking up and not seeing my mama. I was like, hell no, man. And then two, home cook food versus somebody else cook your food. And I hear weevils and food, all this. No, no, no. Bro. I don't know how you guys did it, man. But that's a different kind of spirit. But but I think that, you know, that kind of, um, that also kind of helped a lot of people, you know, with their upbringing, make them, it made them mature fast or faster than, yeah, you know. Okay, now I can eat. I can eat almost everything since I don't know how to cook. And what I can eat, like I can eat rice, which is so cold, which has not been microwaved, because that's what we, we used to eat back in the days. Sometimes, like I went to Starlight, <clears throat> they'll prepare your rice at around two p.m. and you have to eat it at seven p.m. or oh, uh, yes, yeah, seven p.m. From two p.m. to seven p.m., you have to eat that rice. It's cold. You understand? So what would you do? You have to eat it. So I will eat cold food without any complaint. Yep, I'm used to already. And to me, a lot of things don't really mean a lot. Like, I don't take life too serious because of what I gained from the boarding school. You know, like, I, I, I don't take some certain things serious. Like, people can hurt you. They can come kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Thank God no one died in their sleep while I was there because of, of injury on, from a student to another student. But it's very risky. We had things around. You see snakes. You, it, was, it, was, it was frightening, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was good. It actually made, us, made me who I am today a lot. Nothing against day students, but boarding school, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. My first kiss that I got was in a boarding school. <laughs> the first time I got into realities in life, you can be broke, you have nothing, survival of the fittest, boarding school. That's cool. Yeah. And smelling people's hands, like Lord's hands, boarding school. <laughs> hey, yo. Nah. They, I was actually scared to go to a boarding school, not going to lie to you, me too. when I was younger. Because, like, Leo and Terrence and, all, and, like, and the sisters, they're all telling me stories, like, coming back complaining about hunger. When it was time for them to go, they were, you know, getting all the biscuits and all that. I'm like, man, how are you complaining? Not knowing that, you know, <laughs> within the, like, First month, everything is literally gone. I'm like, Gee. first first week, man. First week, <laughs> first week. <laughs> See, how will I even know? <laughs> it seems like the first week you look so healthy, and after the first week, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you're all gone. You become cranky. <laughs> See, you should have been in lots, man. See, you should have gone to lots. Oh man, you look like one of those girls who went to lots. Yeah, from I don't know. Every track. time people see me, they're like, they think I went to one of them schools. I did not go. They did not take me. What school did you go to? I went to government school, government high school. Body schools that would not take me because I was too young. So How no old were you from one? I was nine. Seven? From one. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. So, no, so you, no, skipped, there was... you skipped class six, yeah? And no, I actually went to all school. I started school very, very young. Mm. Nice. So, is there age limit in school in Cameroon? Yes, five, now there is. Five years. You have to be at least two to start daycare. 
three to <laughs> go to pre nursery and then from there something like that. Yeah. They can wait to come around. Eh, I was Actually, they they can. Can. No, they, they, have, they, they do have daycare. They do have daycare. Some schools do, depending on the school. Kindergarten. Oh, okay. No, you have mm -hmm. daycare. Okay. And um, then, or you have pre nursery, nursery one, mm -hmm. nursery two. Then you start going to class one and class one. Class so you know, there's no longer class seven in Cameroon, right? Yeah, it's class six now. That's yeah, been for a six. while. Huh? Yeah. Where did yeah. class one go? Wait, what about? Took, I mean, it did because a lot of students were writing from class. Class seven was just an extra year for nothing, so they they are taking it off like twenty years ago or something like that. Yeah, mm. actually, right when I was coming to uh, America, that's when they were taking it out. Because I remember I was in class four or five. I was, in th I think. Based on my age, let you guys let me know if I'm right or wrong. But when when um I was going to class five, and then I was like, oh, after class five, I only have six. I don't have to go to seven because they're about to shut it down. Yeah, I don't remember that it was weird. Yeah, I mean, but it was, was about time because private schools only ended at class six. Mm -hmm. So it was just like the government and the mission schools that had class seven. So wait, were you in PNU? No, I didn't go to my sister did go to PN. Yeah, because but I, I went was to from one. I went to from one at eleven. I think eleven or twelve from one. From one. I think eleven ish, ten, uh, twelve like that. But I had a class maybe was already fifteen. <laughs> yeah, I had older people in my class too in form one. Who was repeating the form one? So and I'm looking no, at this dude. Dude was like six foot something. I will never forget and he was my benchmate, Courage, who well, I don't oh, know wherever he is. Did he I will get never some? forget him. Huh? Did he get some? No, because he was the tallest in class. <laughs> no, just messing, Why I say I'll never forget because they, <laughs> since I was younger and I was smaller, so people were picking on me in school. So Courage was my bodyguard. Oh, well, that's his name. Oh. Yes, that was that's his name, Courage. So it was your Courage. Yes, yeah, so we and we were benchmates. Like he was the biggest dude in class. He repeated, man, we were really good friends. It sounds like I never tried anything. From, uh... Go ahead, Mr. Jerry. No, you go ahead, bro. No, I was saying I it sounds like that grandfather from my phone five, you know, uh, <laughs> my phone five class. That grandfather, you know, well, because me too, like I took GC and I knew I was coming to America, so I didn't even. I was not paying attention to that thing, man. I said, forget it. So why people are studying, I was sleeping me at home. I was like, you're not studying. I said, no, I got this. I got this. But anyways, I repeated from five, right? Still waiting. <laughs> you know? Still waiting to come to America. I have my visa already. I'm just waiting for my time to come. I know. Then, you know, um, so the first semester of my, you know, repetition started. I didn't go to school till mm -hmm. after a month and a half. I, I mean, I didn't wow. go to class. I would leave home, wear my uniform, but I would go see me in the student quarters, right? And then I'll not go to class. Go home um, at noon because my mom already went to work. So I just go home, man. Anyways, uh, moving forward, there was this grandfather when I finally went to class. I, I, I kept hearing all this grandfather that was there. Before, when I finally went to class, man, I sat there. And, <clears> you know, I sat on the other side and he was sitting on the other side. We're all on the back bench. And I, you know, because I tilted it forward and I looked, I looked at him. I said, Chai. Which I do is that class with my repi. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> class with my dad, bro. Like, you could see by head already, like, here. And then he has shifted all off. And you could, like, you know, you could see somebody from that skin, and you could tell, like, they're older. They're oh, yeah, older. they're older, yeah. But at time, least 35. Yes. This grand friend was wiping everything in class, bro. From oh, wow. first desk, he started from down there, walked all the way down. Then started from down the second row, walked all the way. Down. He was white. Was he your friend? Like, nah. Was he your friend? It was later. It was later. It was later. You know, because at some point I was like, nah, I did graphic with Demo guy. He had, he had Demo So, how of... did they do it? Is it like force or just talk to the ladies? How is no, it doing mean, it? You know, this thing, Cameroon, that women always want to interact with older men. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like when you see older men, they're like, oh, we have a right. Mm -hmm. Then they go, they wipe, they come back and they cry. I'm like, hey, 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 what have you seen? Anyways, yeah. 
and I heard that's a that, that was the best time to, to take a woman when she's uh she's miserable a little bit and she's oh, talking yeah. to you. Yeah, that's the time like oh, you know, I got up. You know, you're like, Oh yeah, I can take care of you, I can fix that. Yeah. Oh, yeah we'll punish, we'll punish some people. Yeah, <laughs> Lord is responsible for that. Everything I did, I handed it over to the Lord. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, you are, you are, you are, you are over there. You are talking about it. I say you are in school like this. Uh, my very first time that I actually ever, you know, tried bringing a girl. You know, um, this is me. I really went with my box of chocolate, I've been biscuit. You know, very naive. You know, gave it to her. Two days later, you know, what I'm saying she's over there. You know, kisses with some other guy making it. I'm like, hey, whatever happened to my first time that I actually felt something like heart, you know, heart attack or was it a heartbreak or whichever. Were you guys just, were you guys just ah, doing things in the open? Ladies, 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 ladies and gentlemen, here's the origin of the villain. You know, no, the villain wasn't born then. The villain wasn't oh, born That's then. the start. No, the villain wasn't born then. The <laughs> villain wasn't born then. Nah, nah, <laughs> Now, nah, I know exactly okay. when the villa was born, man. I, the villa wasn't okay. born there. You know, I didn't know what I was feeling then, you know what I'm saying? Because after that, I was like, nah, forget that girl, man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even worth it. But then, oh, it was this other one. Okay. Light skin. Gosh. Okay. Ponzi. Okay. Ponzi. <laughs> that thing What's Ponzi in English? Is it hips? No, no. No, Condi's thighs. 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 Okay. Okay. Them, them I, really, I know that one. I know that one. I, I know that one. <laughs> yes, Lord. God. Yes. <laughs> Give so me my credit. You woman like this, your your whole drug drop. But anyways, fast forwarding. You know what I'm saying? Fast forwarding. I don't know when I, what happened. Oh yeah, we were. No, you know, talk about that. Talk about that girl. Talk about that girl. Talk about that. I mean, like you know, we we're, we're, you know we interacting you know talking things like that you know what I'm saying? like this is like me and from four you know trying trying to act like a you know like i know what i'm doing mm -hmm. but i got so i tell you that uh, this girl played me like draft that was the day i stood like that look gotcha. and i said eh, if i ever try again this nonsense i fall about I, I, I die you know what i'm saying because what did she do to you boy what did she do can't believe boy it's the craziest thing ever. Mm -hmm. She like went to the student quarters, right? And she was supposed to introduce me to Naki, the wise now. Excuse but, me, don't don't run, don't run with this story. Was it your room? Did you have a room there? No, 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 no. This 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 my this the this the student quarters. I live with my mom in my mom's house, but the student okay. quarters is right next to school. So you have friends who live okay. in the student quarters, right? So you're taking her to your friend's place. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So neither did I know, right? Neither did I know. She was taking me as a companion to go there, tell me to sit down. They say, I'm coming. Leave from there, go two doors down to that graphic that I was telling you now. Two doors down to that graphic that I was telling you like that. You, you know, have I'm that grandfather's number. No, 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 my son. You know, I would, I would, I would turn around and I became that grandfather's friend because I was like, guy, <laughs> you have to teach me this thing. <laughs> So he like as monga. Boy, I tell you that I stood like this and I did peeped through the window. I was I peeped through the window. No, I did not, I did not. Because at this point, you know, I was looking. I was, I mean, at the end of the day, I was still contented because I seen her butt naked. So I was still happy somehow, somewhere. You know what I mean? I, I was naive, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know anything. You were happy seeing your own girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was some of it. You know, like I never peeped the job, you know, like without clothes, right? So to see it, I was like, hey, cool. That's the most I've ever seen. So let me carry my head and we go with me some more, some more. So I did, but at the same time, the feeling inside was like, nah, man. <laughs> Next Wait, chapter. Did, you, come, did you leave or you waited for her to come meet you out there? Did you Wait, leave or you stayed? I left. I left. Man. I left and then. Okay. Yeah, I left and went. So, but did you see her? Did you see her in the action or you just saw her naked for the action? Both, bro. Oh, wow, man. That graphic collar, that chap like this, I confirmed for. Where? Oh my God. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you chocolates and I'm being busy. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> it's so to make this story go, did you ever fight? Did you finally hit it? Or no. No. Damn. In conclusion, this man just Ubered, Ubered a shorty for, for another man. 
Self taught on purpose. Self taught on purpose. Safely walked her to her destination. I know. I know. Not that many. Then you walk back. You walk back. I'm walking away. I'm you, it was. It was rough, man. It was rough. But at another time, another time, one of my party man sent. Uh, he was helping me coordinate this chap. You know, in Cameroon, you know, you can you can talk to baby like you have a friend who is really good in literature. They help you. Yeah, mm-hmm. this guy was helping me writing things. Oh, that right there, guys talking about by himself. I can't even want to hold guest hand. Guest like ah, I'm I'm confused. I'm like, there's just people who hand. What's the problem? Wait, was he giving the letters to you to give to the girl, or she was give? He was giving the letters himself. Boy, I tell him what I want him to go say, so he could code it in his, oh. in, his in his language. The guy will go oh. and he will talk about him, you know, like he's talking about me, and then he'll come back and tell me that or oh, X, Y, and Z. So you know, you two, you trusting your friend that your friend has your back. They don't know that your friend too, guy too, be down the eye, the chap, you know. So did you ever give him money, like gifts no. to give to the girl? No, no, no. Okay. No. No, if it was anything that I was supposed to give, um, I'll do it myself. Like he will come and tell me to go do it, yeah. right? But both okay. of them know what's going on. But I'm the one. Oh, you know, so I'm the one. I'm the one in the corner, like being boo the fool, mumu. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, man. When I pass those two things, <laughs> I just laugh. Anyone now, that this guy, did this guy also hit. This guy also took the girl from you. Did he finally hit it? I don't know if they. I don't know if they did. But when I find out that, you know, like, um, uh, um. Because later on, you know, when I had sent him to go rap to her, you know, and he and he left because it's like one, one one campus, you know, what I mean, one campus and go from class to class, like you know, you have from um like from four A, from four B, from four C, you know, yeah. what I mean, you, we, for some reason I'm always in the C class, and you know, C class is where most of the door and recasting people live, mm-hmm. just, you know, for, <laughs> the A class is for sense people, B class. It's a blend of you know both words and things like that. Somebody was always in the C class, but I always like to talk me to chaps in the A class. So I sent my guy there. My guy goes. So one day I said, let me really follow this guy and hide and hear what this guy is saying. Man, I went the way guy was talking about by himself. I said, chai. And that's one of that. that that's that my man that was you know touching gay in class that was talking about that other episode like that. Mm. It's that guy, you know what I'm saying? But it's not the girl though. But it's that guy. You know, the, so, the guy with the guy with um yes 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 mm, okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that one that one yeah so man when I passed those two when I finally you know learned my lesson from those two it was a rap man then nobody even just I didn't even care whether a girl told me that she was sent by God that was a problem to me you have a problem that needs to be taken down okay down okay oh yeah. Have you ever spoken ill of another man because you're trying to win a woman's heart? No. <laughs> no. Sorry. No, I have. I have done it. It. You, 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 you thought that was all in your head, huh? I have done it. No, not much time, really. I've if castigated anything, if and anything I'll say, If in anything I'll say, like, you know, you, you were talking about the consoling part. If in anything I'll say, you know, which is a consoler, like, hey, lean on my shoulder, but don't fall chalky because... <laughs> your problem just because you are crying does not mean that your brain has gone away you still have brain so if you just have, mistakenly just show green light up man you will see a thief in the night you're better men men do that a lot you see i've condemned a lot of folks i've condemned a lot of my homies like oh i've nailed them i've nailed them to the tree i have thrown them under the bars like just because i'm trying to get some and because I was not even getting some at the time, I would end up not even getting some. So I would just go be the cool guy and just say all those things about this guy. Then I would see the guy now. I have to act cool. I have to play cool because guess what? I just, I was a scandal monger. I just said all kind of evil things about you because I was trying to have a woman. I would definitely get the woman. And after that, I wouldn't use the woman, you know? And it was, it was kind of crazy though. And the ladies will always bring it up. I don't think I like that guy no more. Then now you start consoling, it ends from consolation to actually admiration to dating. Yeah. I'm sorry if you're my friend and I did that to you in the past. At least you guys are not going anywhere. Yeah. So you know, I'm good. I have to thank some of you know the women back in the day because they're the one who really taught me patient. You know what I mean? Um like I could literally like I could sit there, right? And a woman be like, expressing how somebody hurt them no problem listen open my ears wide 
as wide as a, it's even worse if you were very pretty. No problem. I have all the time in the world for you. But okay, just... say three names. Say three, three, name three names. Thank three names of the three ladies that you want to thank for the past for making you guy, your answer. This guy, you are you are you are to put <laughs> no no I'm not calling on names. No, no, no. I don't call your names. Anyways, let's you can't even call three fake names. I don't want to. I can't even call three fake names. I just I just know there was a Blanche day. I might want to call three fake oh, names. Wow. <laughs> no, there was no Blanche. Blanche, are you sure? Because Blanche. There was definitely a Delphine. People. There was there was a Delphine definitely. Was there Mirabel? There was. What this... about the Rose? Okay, since you don't want to mention the names, let's do this. Say, oh, you know their names already. So just say the letter. Then we, we give three try. If you don't get it, we forget about that name. So the first letter. I already gave you one name. What is it? You know, we didn't hear you. What's the letter? So Cynthia. And then... Oh, there was a Cynthia. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Cynthia and then... was light skin. It was light that skin. That tracks. Huh? huh? No, I said that tracks. But I'm saying, actually, Jamie said something. So there was a Cynthia. She was light skin, huh? I was Cynthia's light skin. Yeah, most of them. Yeah. yeah anyways. That was a good guess. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and then another one starts with A. Antoinette. Then... No. Is it, is it a traditional name or regular? Yes, 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 a traditional name. Oh, okay. uh, oh come on. And then Awa. This boy. This boy. Say that name again. And then bomb. <laughs> How did you guess that so quick, man? Uh. <laughs> Wow! Come on, bro. Okay, I'm winning okay. the game, man. Oh, no, I give you oh, the last one. one. Wow! Well, okay, 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 okay. Uh, what's the last one? Oh, just now <laughs> all these names. <laughs> oh, what's the last one? Oh. Well, this one is this. This one is easy. Why? Yvette. Yvette. Why Yvonne? Yvonne. No, man. Yvonne. Yvette. Okay, cool. Hmm. You've been around, man. That's good. Do you have? Do you have any contact with any of these ladies till date? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, no, I'm, uh, definitely. But most of them are, you know, married. Like, oh, speaking of which, I have a story. Go for it, bro. Go for it, man. Okay, Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me pour up some wine. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> man, crazy thing. I don't know. I don't know if this happens to some of you know you, well, the guys specifically. But you know how you have. You know, you are your homies, you know, and then you just know that your yeah, homie, there's this girl that your homie was smashing, you know what I mean? And, you know, they were doing all these things, you know, and da 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 da, da. And then fast forward later, well, your homie and then your other homie and then your other homie. Fast forward later, you're at a party and she's there with her two kids and husband. And you pass her, she know that you know that, you know what I'm saying? And you just pass her look at her like, hi, auntie, how are you? You know what I'm saying? And she's, and you're looking at the husband, looking at her like, does this guy know what you've been up to in your life? Anyways, have you guys ever uh, experienced that encounter that? Yeah, I have. So I have. the other day, no, not, not the other day, last year, when I went to some 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 event, you know, and my homeboy that was nice over this more shorty, you know what I'm saying? And they've done some pretty wild things. And it's not like they did it in the clothes, in the open. But anyways, long story short, she was married with two kids. Back in Cameroon or yeah, in the States? Yeah, in the States. Okay. So we had an event and then put all of us on the same table, right? And the husband is there, the two kids are there, she's there. And I'm sitting like this, bro. The guy who she was messing is sitting on the same table too, bro. And we look at each other, looking at it, look at each other, looking at, I'm like, if we just take this a husband that, 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 would they still be together or would he be like the past is the past and you know that's it? Because you're talking wow. about like you talk about like wild things like, you know, um like anal fisting, things fisting, like that. Like fisting, think, fisting. Yeah, yeah. Crazy stuff, you know. <laughs> man, I'm <laughs> nasty, man. <laughs> and then now, you know, and then now they, you know, married with so I'm just, I don't know if you guys have experienced that. Like in moments like that, like, do you just say, YOLO, whatever? Chuck it up to the game, keep it moving, mind your business. Or do you really just sit down and be looking at her and be thinking about, you know, like, hey, I don't know. Okay, Go let's ahead. make Hello, this my serious. Mom, my business. Situations like that, huh? This is where it gets crazy. When the guy walks up to the bathroom and the lady walks up to the bathroom and they go in there and something happens and they come back and sit. That is when you know that we are talking. 
Wait, which guy? That, oh, that's that's why you asked this. Your guy friend. Too. I'm talking about your friend. Go in there with her. See, yeah. about... <laughs> At that point, I would just wake up and go home because I would not know how to not contain Keep myself in that moment. Like myself, <laughs> like that guy, the, the, the husband will be sitting there like this, knowing that there's something has happened because my face will give it all. You know, as it <laughs> sits there, her face gives everything, you know, the camera. That would be, be her in that moment. <laughs> You're a mean person. You're I'll, be mean, man. You're mean. I'll be sitting there like, did this just happen? Mm-hmm. Wow. That my mind, like, yo, bro, what just happened? Like, but, but is a man still in love with that woman? My, my friend? Yes, is your friend still in love with the, with the lady? Was he ever in love with the lady? Oh, okay. It was a fling. It was a fling. It was, huh? it was probably in love. It was just something. It was probably in love with the things she got. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. And was the lady close to you when your friend was with her? Did she, did, mean, did, did, uh, did she know that you, you knew they were dating? They were, they, they, were, they were never dating. You know, they were just friends with benefits. Oh, they were flinging. Yeah, they were flinging. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, you knew. You know, you knew. Yeah, definitely. I've never seen, ever seen them do the do. You know what I mean? Well, mistakenly, but yeah, they didn't. They didn't lock the Dude, door. You always, just... you always, you always do well, a lot of stuff. Really? One time, one time yes. you told they me a story how you walked. Mm. Yeah, okay. You told me one story one time. I'm, I'm gonna bring this up. You walked into a room where your sister's friend was dressing up. One time, and you saw things. Why are you always finding yourself in those kind of situations, man? I don't know. Ask the Lord. <laughs> I don't know, man. I really don't know. I this think guys that, always <clears throat> opening the doors to Narnia. Bro, see, bro, see. Yeah. Bro, see, bro, see. You know, college, man. College days were wild, man. I'm not gonna lie. College was wild. So if you your roommates, you know, you just <laughs> used to you. I mean, we are all guys in the house. You feel me? So you just used to go in and just one knock, you open the door, you say what you gotta say, you close the door, you're out. Sometimes if you stand there waiting for somebody to say enter, you will stand there for hours. So you better open the door, be saying your thing, you and keep it moving. You know what I mean? I come home. I didn't know there was a woman in this house because when I came back, it was just one car. My man's, uh, my, my roommate's car. That's all I seen. So I come in, nothing in the living room or the kitchen showed like he was entertaining somebody in the crib. So in my mind, he's in the crib by himself. So I got to say hi to my homie. I go, what knock? Pause for like one second. I didn't hear nothing. Open the door. Man, one, somebody's leg was in the air. The other one, <laughs> I said, well, I said, it was so I what said, are folks doing in a closed room with the door open? Or oh, with a closed room with the door not locked? Oh, I mean, do you, do you lock the door all the time? Come on, man. Come on, what are you doing? It happens. It's a very common thing. Nah, I don't make those. Those, those things don't happen to me. Those things don't happen. It's a plan. Listen, it's a plan me, thing. Nah, let me tell you. If you walk in, okay. that's on you. If the door's not locked, that's on whoever walks in. Sometimes you don't always remember to lock the door. Big deal. He has roommates, man. He has roommates. Okay, and he was in his room. If you walk okay. in, that's it. That's a you problem. Tell him. So when you walked in, did they continue or they stop? And stared and looked at you. I wish they stopped. Because I would have asked them <laughs> if I could tack him. But the way this guy was going, he had fire. A man was not stopping anytime <laughs> soon. I said, What's up, my people? He said, Yeah, bro, bro. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> Was still walking. I just closed the door. Just thought I was going to me. What, 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 what was it supposed to? What was I supposed to do? If you caught me in the same thing, if if you caught me in the same moment, bro, I would have been doing the exact same thing. If I'm, I'm still still like, how bro? far, bro? Still, not not breaking a beat. Forget that. Let him cook. Let him cook. Just saying, you know. But uh, um, um, childhood days, man, were fun. It was fun. It was it was really fun catching your friends do some things. Yeah, that's one of those things that I really, I was really, I was, I was, I was such a cry baby when it came to stuff like that. I used to have so many girls I would talk to, consider them girlfriends. When it came to doing the do, man, I would, I would not want to do it. I was so scared. I was so scared. I was always very skeptical. I didn't trust myself because I, I didn't have that orientation. But it was fun though. I'm happy you had so much fun. So do you think as you, as you grow older, you're going to depart from these things? Yeah, as I grew older, man, like I've been, I've been very chill. Actually, I don't even, uh, right now, I don't even want to see anybody in the act, man. If it's not like porn, keep it away from me. Like, I'll be awkward. If it's not what? If it's not porn, like, people I don't know, 
you know, like Twitter porn. You know, keep oh, it so you don't have a problem with you don't have a problem with porn, huh? You don't have a problem with that. Never did, actually. No. You know, fun I like fact. that mindset because a lot of folks. Yeah. You know, fun fact. Go ahead, fun bro. Fact, if I'm being honest, fun fact. I was actually addicted to it at some point in time in my life. You know what I mean? Like, heavy. Like, you know how people wake up in the morning and read the Bible? But I woke up in the morning, I wake up in the morning and I'm like scrolling through like... Did, like you, did you finally know their names? Did you start recognizing names of characters? Hell yeah, what you mean? Okay, so you were into it. Bro. Hey, yo, give me your top five. And I could give you two. I don't know. Oh, five. that was back then. That was back then. Oh, you know two? I could give you two. There's one that always stuck what? in my brain, Sarah J. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go. Ah, bro, that was bad. We'll Google that name. She's she black or white. I think she like Hispanic or something like that. Like one of them. Okay. Anyway. What's the other one? Um, the other one is, um, damn that. That um Lebanese looking sugar honey pie. Something Malika. Something Malif. Mal um damn, what's her name, bro? Oh, Khalifa? That one, bro. That one. That one. Yes. Oh, there's a lady, there's a lady who said she couldn't go back to her country one time. That yeah. she, she got her dead warrants or something that she can go back. Oh, I think I, I saw her too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that as yeah. well. And I didn't know she was she was she was a porn star. And I, I have I, I just kept doing research and it's like, yeah, a video this is and I was like, oh, that's why everybody was going so bizarre about it and like spazzing. I'm like, what's so special about her? And I found out that, you know, the it's car you, people drive in and out of her <laughs> out of her garage as a profession. Hmm. But how many I know okay, since since you since you said that, you know, that was like a thing for you, like a issue back then, did you ever like because uh, as soon as you told me that, the first thing that came to my head was like, this man used to be in in class and just scheduling himself already at home. Just all right, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna... Wow. Nah, it nah, wasn't nah, that bad. Nah. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. You know. Um, mm -hmm. the bad part I would say was if I'm so it's like I procrastinate a lot. You know, what I mean, I used to procrastinate a lot. I still do sometimes, but. Still do. Still Most do. part, I could sit there studying like this, bro. Like a studying. And if my mind just wandered for one second, oh, just know that's where I'm going. You're doing it. <laughs> you know, just know that's where I'm, I'm, I'm about to. And they just sit there and be watching. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? You... But then. Mm. Um... Okay, do you... okay, let me ask you a question before you go. Do you know the difference between you and those? Or do you know the difference between you and those who don't have degrees? Hmm. The a major a major difference the lack of concentration if you cannot concentrate you can have a degree yeah you can proceed true true true, true. but yeah i mean every now and then I need a little distraction so some people wake up and go for a walk some people do this and that mom was just gonna watch that you know it became a problem one time when <laughs> i right, don't judge me nobody judge me here but you could judge me all you want that's your problem i have lord here to be my you know, my my backup. Anyways, um, the day I knew it was a problem, right? When I tell you church was boring this day, oh my God. I said, I was yawning. I was yawning, son. I just went to my phone, popped that thing, right? and I started like, so the funny thing was, I thought my volume was low. Hey, yo. And I literally stood, I didn't start there, right? I pushed the thing, I thought it was low. But the minute I played that video, boy, <laughs> and then and I, I don't know why right it's always that moment when you try to turn the thing off <laughs> that's where your phone freezes but the video is still yeah i just I, I just walked out of church man i didn't go to church for like three for like three um uh, three months um where was that busy, US, was usa busy. cameroon huh where was that where yeah, was that cameroon yeah. usa the states now yeah, in the states. Well, well, let's take data and come around to watch more. No, we no. Remember back in the days, we had this. We had this. Uh, this we we get we got a lot of videos through Wi-Fi, through Wi-Fi okay. as they call it. That you can get like we used to have all these videos through Wi-Fi. You get like all those where all those friends were recording themselves and sending to us through Wi-Fi and stuff. Uh, Bluetooth. Sorry, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Not yeah, Wi-Fi. No, Bluetooth. I was, I was like, huh, what was Wi-Fi? Yeah, about? Bluetooth. No, it was Bluetooth. It was Bluetooth. My bad. My bad. It was Bluetooth. Yeah. Jeez. In Cameroon, yeah, you were addicted, man. 
like back then, like back then, if one had to see such a thing, you know, your friend had to tell you that yo, I'm about to hit this joint, and then you guys go and hide and watch. Yeah. Give me that. You know what I mean? That was like yeah. the most you could do back home. But here, may you have internet at your disposal. How do they call it? They call it radar. Come on, go radar. <laughs> <laughs> they call it radar. You have to go hide, hide and look. Pray you don't get caught. Man. Pray you don't get caught. You know what? Uh, what? Uh, 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 our friend he he knew that you know people will come and watch. He he said he begged us not to. So people were like either way. We'll go. So he found this part where um he knew where all the little gaps are, and he took chalk and drew around there. So <laughs> you have to, it would take turns to go just so you don't go and stand and they start fidgeting and then they catch you, right? So one person will go, it's easier one person to go and then come back, the next person will go. But I see my man come back, his eye was like halfway chalk. I was like, what the f-? <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to wipe your face before that, but I still saw what you say. You, you went pee <laughs> Wow. Out of his eyes. Oh, shoot. But, yeah. oh, shoot. but you know, in hindsight, man, I mean, in, 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 you know, just to draw attention back to, you know, that like, for those who are actually addicted to that thing, man, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in porn. Like, I don't know what you got to do, but you got to find a way to remove your, your, your brain from it because it kills a lot of things in you. You know what I mean? Like a lot of things in you. So what did he kill in you? What um, did he kill in you? What did he kill in you? I would say my ability to connect at a certain level. You know what I mean? Like okay. sexually, uh, emotionally. Okay. You know what I mean? Because if it's just like, yeah. You know, and and then, and at some point it's like if wiping is not involved, I beg just be shifting and be going. You know what I mean? Like, but does it really always have to be that way? No. So just saying and also too it messes up like um your focus you know sometimes you you are doing something and you can be so focused doing that but then your attention just switches and goes the other way you know for some other folks actually no actually knew this guy this um older guy who told me like he spent over like two like in the like that year alone just that year alone he spent almost 20 grand right this is from january Till about was it October? He had spent twenty grand on on a loan, and that blew my mind. So I'm like, how? Oh, well, he was buying. Was he buying videos and stuff? Yeah, he was everywhere. He was He was, ev- no, he oh, was okay. paying for everything. I said, my guy, you should have given me that so I could, you know, go out. You should have given me no problem. I'll just tell me which one you want. I'll have bootleg the thing and give you the DVDs. I mean, bad luck. But um, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, I've had my own share of that a little bit too, but it was uh, back in university, university. So we used to get like um all these francophone guys that will bring um the days of before the actual V, the the the, the VCD and the DVR or whatever you call it, DVD. We used to have uh, those the, the the tape. So yeah. I had a couple of these guys VCRs. Who bring some of those tapes on VCRs. Thank you. Yeah, we we'll watched them, man. It was. It was interesting because you watch it and you could rewind when you see a part where it was fascinating, very interesting. You have to rewind it and bring it back. So I have those kind of memories, man. It was those things we learned a little bit of things from them. But little did we know that those guys were all acting. Because you can see a guy is going for like 45 minutes. You're like, oh, what is this guy doing? When you get into the room, you try the same thing, man. <laughs> Four or five minutes, you're done. <laughs> so it was crazy. Anyway, life moves on. Life moves on. Even you learn, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have a story for the next generation to come if they want to listen. If they don't, hey, go get your own experiences, man. What about you, T? What about you, T? Did you ever? What about me? What are we talking about, girl? What about what? what Porn? Yes. Porn, yeah. Not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. Haven't watched. Don't intend to. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you've never watched it before? Oh wow! Not even, not even oh, when we we had proper blockers. We had proper. Mm-hmm. I'm just, it's just not my. I just, there's just nothing about watching people that. It's not. No, it's just nasty. I have been to a swingers <laughs> club. Nasty. I Do you remember the song we sang as kids? If not me, chop that eyes. If not me, chop that eyes. Oh, come on, pot, go come on, me. Let me water, go swallow me. Sing that song. If you, sing that song, if you just lie tonight, 
cover pot go cover you. Mommy, what I go swallow you? Who's <laughs> who that? Who's who is that for? <laughs> you. No, I'm serious. You, like, because you said you've no, never. I've never. I'm being honest. I haven't. Like, if it's wow, not a, gosh. if it's not a racy, maybe a racy scene in a movie, you know, something like that. Apart from, mm -mm, it's just. So if we're sitting now and I just shoot you something on or through your WhatsApp, which is a, like porn, you will not watch it. If I click, I see that's what it is. That those two seconds are more than long. I just delete. I'm yeah, not uh, interested. You are better than me. I'm. A, I'll finish that video. <laughs> now come and ask you that. What would be? What was you know what what was I supposed to be paying attention to? Do you have more? I'll go back again and go and look. <laughs> yeah. I do yeah. have my own things that I would indulge, but definitely not that. Like what? You, you, you said you said swingers club. I heard that. I mean, I've been there once. Um, it was for research purposes. <laughs> I oh. research and development. Oh. Yeah, it was. It really was. I had. A, were you were you naked? Were you dressed up naked too? No, I was dressed up. I had a friend who wanted to check out the place and they didn't want to go alone so they asked if i could accompany them and i said sure why not I why would they let you guys out. come in there with your clothes or they let you guys come in with your clothes or no up? you do right. come in with clothes at the first half you can take them off if you want but you have to come in dressed yep but when you get when, in you're supposed to when you get off, in, right? no you're not obliged to but you have half the people walking around naked half the other half doing it it was a wild experience i'm not even gonna lie it oh, was so you've an watched the actual you've watched the actual porn in front of you but not like on a on a tape or on a video or something yes no but this was this was pretty recent but that was <laughs> i did not think see i knew it was, was an open air type thing but i didn't know it was that free i was walking around like my friends like hey, you're gonna but you, have but a you cannot be but you couldn't be on your phone right no cell phones <laughs> Yeah, no, you can't have your phone out. No, no, they have people like actual security that walk around. Like, I mean, if you go there, you already know, right? You can't, but you the way pay? I was, you pay to get in, yeah, you pay, you pay to get in. And did you see a man who that you thought, like, oh, you wish you could have? I'm not even staring that long. Oh, you're better than me. Ah, when I went, I'm to not listen i'm telling you i was walking around and my friend was like you're gonna have us kicked out because the way everything i was in like i was in shock because it's like wait they're just having sex like i'm not looking twice and he you know look and would i was like but well it was for his his research so i was just like um, nah that was it was a sensory overload wow it was it was an interesting okay. experience, okay. but okay. I'm not looking at anybody that close. And the only thing I could think about is like, these people are brave. What if you found <laughs> your boss in there, your boss, your manager at work? You found your manager doing yeah. something really? What would you do? Would you, I would look at my manager and be like, man, are you that deep? I That's just wild. would not look at, I would just would not see him differently at work meetings, but sure. Mm -hmm. I'll applaud yeah. him for be the dead. only there was one thing I looked at though I'm not gonna lie this man came with his wife oh wow let me tell you that man can walk a pole Jesus Christ I was in awe he sat down because they have all these different things that people do they came sat down she took off her trench coat she was just in her panties and bra let me tell you I have never seen that man should be on P Valley I've never seen somebody rock a pole like that that lady went up came down with force and did a boom stood and she was a black lady them chicks were moving good moogly moogly like, <laughs> that thing is juicy listen i just sat there was like i was just in awe and then dude just sat down at the table and had his drink because it's a byob bring it up whatever stuff you want he was just sitting there drinking and she was doing up. I was, listen, I just sat there. I was just like, I was like, yeah, my, my guy, if I had that, I'd be staring too. It Did was, anyone I touch was, her no. or no? Did anyone touch her? No, or no? You, you, you can ask if you want it, but like if you're in the open and common spaces, you can't touch. But if you go like to one of the private rooms, 
then they can ask, can I touch or can I join? But if it's like in common spaces, it's not really. Do they have like, like shared condoms? Or you can just go without it? No, you bring your own condoms or they have condoms at the door to the rooms. So they have like, but most people just bring their own condoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that's the craziest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. So with your experience, you say you have sensory overload, right? So if, say, you do it again now, like if the same thing happened now, how do you think you perceive it? What do you think you'll feel now? I think I wouldn't go back if I'm not with my partner. Do tell. Because it, even though it was an overload, but it's like it's like if you go to the club, right? There's that music going on. There's that ambiance. It creates an atmosphere. Right. So when you walk into that kind of place, it just creates an an atmosphere like I don't know, it might be weird, but you feel like you feel like a celebration of your body, if that makes sense. It just gives that because everybody's comfortable in their own skin in there. Someone's boob is rolling on the floor. They don't care. Everybody's just in their skin having a good time you know so it gave that ambiance of like i'm not gonna lie you walk in there you will have a serious confidence boost i felt like a body in there and i was one of the people who were probably fully close you know so i don't think i would go there if i go there if i do happen to ever go there it will probably be with a partner just so i can feed off that energy and build my person not for anything else but yeah that it's a whole lot of that in the air so so for them so for them short is that you know a guy will go talk to and their breasts look so perky but then when they go one to one in the room and they take off the bra it rolls like a red carpet where should they <laughs> self esteem go at that point in time so where, what, what should they want where should their self esteem go they know what they are there for now they're there for the knocking other than that what's their problem everybody goes there for knocking See, i don't I know mean... about the, the the body whichever everybody goes there for knocking because Maybe they're not getting that shit in the crib. I know, yeah. but a lot of okay, I'll give you context. We went on couples night. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. so everybody okay. in the, the tickets are sold as a couple. So it's pretty much people and their couples, right? And these are people who are conf, you know confident in their own skin. Like I'm not gonna lie, you might be a buddy or whatever, but there's something about you that and eh, if I can change, yeah, but you know. It's nature. You probably can't change it, right? And sometimes you're not as comfortable rolling around that other people. With your partner, that's fine. Like, these are a whole bunch of strangers and people are just walking as freely as can be. Like, you're in your living room by yourself. But you said I the was word, right? Hmm? But you said the word. What word? Strangers. I know, but I I'm not walking around naked in front of strangers. That's what I'm Instead? saying. I'm not I'm not that confident. Wait, hold no. on, okay, wait, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you have a group, so you have a room full of people who know you and you know them. And you have a room full of strangers. And you're bored naked. Which one will you run into? You have to run into one. Which one will you run into? I think right I now. Know the people I know. Jesus. What? People, you know, they'll see, hey. they'll see, uh, they'll see a uh, watermelon jumping around in the air. Hey, no. really? I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very free naked in my own space. So I would not have a trouble. Strangers, I don't think so. No. Nope. I'm running into that room of strangers. Even uh -huh. high-fiving everybody as I'm going. I mean, I guess it would depend on what kind of people, but I mean, I really don't. I think I was, I just turned 20, actually. Sorry, 21. Um, you might, you might, JB, you might already guess what I went with. But anyways, um, I tell you, we got there. It was, it was you know, a bunch of guys. So we got there. Bruh, I never seen nothing like this in my life, man. Got in there. Man, these folks I was with, they were getting there too. Hey, I started seeing people were taking their shirts off, taking their pants off. I'm like, bro, what are you guys doing? They're like, bro, just get with the program. I said, Papi, see me as a thing like this. The level of shyness that I feel, <laughs> I'm not taking off my clothes, bro. I'm just a natural shy, I'm not taking off my clothes out. I would just watch. When I tell you, I found my chair, I sat down and I was watching some things, bro. Some people had no shame in them, man. 
I mean, like people would take different, assume different positions. They are bop right in front of you like this and arrive. And then wake up and look in your eye and walk away. Wait, your, your homies that you guys wanted together, they did that? Or different people yeah, they did it met. too now. They did it too. Yeah, they did it too. They, they, they did this alike. I fear oh, humans. Since I went to that place, I fear people. No, I, I swear to God. No, ah! no, no, no. no. Except, you know, I've never seen a group of people. It, it was like a pretzel. Yeah. Like, and I'm just... Yeah. I was just I like one shorty. I, I got one. I got a Google one around me in Minnesota if I can go check it out. <laughs> I seen one shorty yeah. take three dudes, three dudes, man, at once, man. Three yep. dudes, man. I clapped my hands that day. I said, nah. Man. Yeah, say. It's like Keep a change. This yeah. person is at this person's end. Then somebody else was at that person's end. And then you have the one person who is hovering over the three of I'm, listen, I'm just like you see things in there, man. Is this even possible? I would, I would definitely get so horny. That's not even of course not. Of course not. Of course you will. Nah, me things and something like that would not turn me on. Jesus. Nah, so yeah. that's come on. Are you you have so you have so your feelings. You have so that part. I've not sold my feelings. I just like yeah. I said, I do. I have my. I was just looking. That I would not look at that and be like, oh, no. Ah, me, I was looking, oh, I was looking in my brain. I was but, like, ah. mommy, my friend got what he wanted out of it. So, you know, I guess it served its purpose. But that was just, wow. Did you, did you see your friend in action? Mm-hmm. Man, he, that, that nigga wanted to go and join. I'm like, if you join, you leave me here, they will kick me out. <laughs> so he couldn't go and join and left me, but he was, like I said, we went in there for research, right? So he wanted to check it out. His his partner wanted them to try that. And so he wanted to explore on his own mm. before. So we went. So he he, he got then that he almost, data. Then he almost he almost joined. He almost joined. <laughs> he yes. almost then he finished you when then you finish you got in the car with him, both of you, you drove separate locations. Yes, we got in the car, drove. Uh, sister, I'm very sorry home. to say this. You might not make heaven. Sister, Why? you might not make heaven. Why would I not make heaven? Really? You might. I said might. Why not? Why do you think so? Because your decisions are very drastic. How can you deny that? Deny what? Why does interrupt us? He's... N- He's not my person. I'm messing, I'm messing oh. with you. I'm messing with you. I was like, did so, I miss that, the that, call that, I said he was a friend? That, that's what I always tell. That's what I tell ladies all the time. As a woman, you have control over a man. A woman can pick a man and say, I want to sleep with you. It's very easy. But us men, we don't have that kind of power over you. The moment we try that, oh, rip, rip, rip. If you T come and say, I want to sleep with you as a man, very few men will say no to that. But if a man comes to you, you're used know. to saying no. I've heard that a lot. I don't know. It's always from guys, but I don't know. I don't know if of that's course. true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. If I dive in your, if I dive in your DM, if I if I dive in your DM right now, you just laugh and say, "Jeff, go, go focus with your home, with your wife." But if you do the same, I might be lying to. I might be buying a flight ticket to go meet you wherever in Gaundere, not even knowing that. You know, <laughs> you women, you have the control. Yeah, they do. Actually. You do. They do. You do. You, do. you know. Yeah. And then the funny thing is like the funny thing is that I mean not funny but the interesting thing is that um some of them actually know when they are throwing their corn and then act like they're not throwing corn. You know, what I mean they act like they're not throwing corn so that you be the one now in reverse now to come and act like it was you who started throwing the corn in the first place. But you fellows out there should also catch those things. I say, I say and see, what are you trying to achieve right now? State your purpose. Stop going, you know, jumping, you know, around. Just state your purpose. What is it? It's funny. It's it's crazy that you just literally mentioned that. I, I think it was just yesterday I had a conversation with somebody. And boom. And I was like, oh, yeah, if you come to the DMV, oh, show you a great time. And she responds and says, I don't know if I should take that as an invitation or as a threat. I'm like, threat. Like, show you a good time. 
Uh, I'm threading her with a good time now. <laughs> right. So literally, I can pull the message up. I act like Mumu. I'm like, I ain't about to do this with you. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, what what do you mean by threat? And yeah, of course, I'll, I'll show you around da, 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 and, you know, take you places and whatnot. She's like, and then she defines her own as a threat. And then she brings this and includes the sexual activities. And I'm like, relax, relax. Okay, I'm, I'm, mentally, I'm mentally married. <clears throat> touche. This, 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 this happened to me one time. Um, I had a show in Boston, 2021. I had to go host my um, cousin's wedding. So I met this MC, wonderful woman out there in um, California. I'm not going to mention her name for now. I met her there and I told her, hey, you're trying to be this good MC. Let's go to Boston together. Guess what? I had one room in Boston, one room, one room. And I asked for two beds in that room. So we had two beds in that room and I was in that room with that lady. Three nights. I would talk to my wife. I, I, don't, I think she had a boyfriend. No, she didn't have a boyfriend. So I was always pushing her every time when she went out, like, talk to guys, talk to guys. You can even bring them to the room when I'm not there, you know? I kept on pushing her. So I'm saying that to say that I can actually spend time with a woman in a room who's not my woman and nothing would happen. So oh, I met absolutely. this woman for the first time. She came from, she came from California. We're in the same room for three mm. i'm married that's why i'm that's why i'm saying so three nights i was in my bed she's in her space ak is that something you would do me yeah like i said first the first night i'm i'm rubbing <laughs> first night first night ak will carry all his luggage and her luggage and put on one bed and just say we'll use this bed as our <laughs> 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 you gotta get yeah, I know. Um, uh, see, we we'll, we'll we'll move those middle things and join the bed together. I call it. It's like home. this. This one is for this one is for this one is for Cynthia. This one is for Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then Bob, and then Bob. Oh, we die, we die, we die, we die. First of all, I'm not even setting myself up like that, bro. No, nah, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not setting myself up like that. I don't know what I don't I I'm I might tell myself that I will tell myself that it will not happen, but I might go to sleep and sleepwalk and do something. So and your no. manhood would your manhood will, will sleepwalk. I might go to you sleep and up. sleepwalk and do something. So <laughs> no. I mean, that's, that's fair enough. Like nah, probably I wouldn't go that far if I was no. married. If I'm not married, yes. If I'm married, no. Nah. Not like anything will happen, right? Like I said, I some like that don't do nothing for me you know i i've slept in the same beds with friends that are guys share the hotel room so you know that that if it's if i don't like you like that nothing's gonna happen i don't I'm care if you come sharing, swinging i'm not sharing no hotel room with my friend who's a girl prior to me yeah, getting married i don't first of all keep those kind of friends i don't know how friends have i don't know how you have a friend who's a girl like I don't know that you're my girlfriend or you're just a regular woman. I don't call oh, you my friend. I, we'll I, that's really that's really sad that you the don't same know bed. that. I have like in your core. Like no, it's, that's, that's it's an you. established relationship, right? Nothing, hmm. nothing is going to happen. Do you think? Do you like, think those guys in the real senses will not hit it? The question is, are they though? That's what I'm more concerned about. I'm not judging somebody based on their intentions. Now, if I know that someone has some kind of feelings towards me or that, right, then I probably wouldn't do it just so I don't put that person in a position where they have to fight with Thank themselves, you. right? Thank if you. I know, yeah. if I don't know, I'm not worried about that. Can a man I'm and a woman just happy. be, can a man and a woman be real friends like that? Yes, I don't know how we yeah. have to keep coming back to. Yes, absolutely, yes. I'm not going. I'm. 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 I'm there with Therese, man. I mean, so, okay. Let. Sorry, go ahead, T. Oh no, I was just gonna say if I don't, I cannot judge somebody based on their intentions that I don't know anything about. You already know what my expectations are from the get go, right? And I'm not trying to, and I'm not one of those women who would set a guy up. I don't believe in that. 
and send somebody up. Like if I know that this is something that if somebody likes me, I don't put that person in impossible situations. If you, if you understand what I mean, I'm not trying to put you in a place where you have to fight, not having sex or get turned on, or you see she'll pass and she'll do this. That I'm not doing none of that. Right. But if we are just friends, you know, my expectation, we are friends. That is an established rule. I cannot worry about what goes on in your head that I do not know. We can talk at night and fall asleep on the bed or on the couch. Or we can go even on trips and share a hotel room, two beds. I'm cool with that. Nothing. And I say this and it might sound like, um, cr like it's crazy, but you would not turn me on like that. If I don't like you, nothing, nothing here, not, none of my body parts work. You see, it goes back to what you were just talking about, Mr. JB, about if a woman does X, Y, and Z, it's cool, but if a man does it, it's called rape, right? Now, you can sit there and say all of that. You feel me? But then let's say, for example, this happens, and then one or two. two. Oh, wait. So, no, this is my question, really. These friends that you're talking about, do you guys go out and drink alcohol, get drunk, and come back? And nothing still happens? First of all, when I go out with people, I don't go and drink and get drunk. Why is that? I, because I still have to maintain some kind of awareness around me. I tell people this. I'm a woman. I don't get the luxury to drink and lose my senses. So if, so if for example... Even if, if I'm with people that I know, I'm still not doing it. I only have one time a year that I used to do that. And I take people and I, they, they already know, like, this is what is happening today. Apart from those days, no, I'm not doing all that. I've, so I've carried right. drunk friends to the, to their room. So this is my thing, right? Yeah, you have. But I'm talking about the man who is a little bit tipsy and then you are drunk. You know, I mean, you guys call your friends, I mean, yourself friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you say that, oh, I don't have expectations or the person hasn't really told you their own expectations and things like that. Now, um, we can be very patient. We can be very, my gender can be very patient. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying that these are my expectations and whatever it is that you're feeling, it's not my problem. Well, the things you don't let me know is my problem. So when something really happens then, do you blame somebody other than yourself for not wanting to really know what do you mean something like what uh, oh. your scenario is up up and up if something happens let's say for example down the road you know um this person decides to hit on you or you know alcohol is involved or some ecstasy i don't know some type of thing that mm -hmm. will outside of your natural state of mind right and then that happens let's say the person leans in and kisses you or let's say the person grabs your boob or your ass. You're going to be so upset, mad, things like that. I mean, it's not like something like that hasn't happened before, right? But I just, I would chalk it up to you being drunk. Like you said, people get drunk and they are common sense getting paid. No, not common but sense. That comes out. Okay, yes, whatever, it comes out, right? Then I would I would know, okay, something's off. And Again, it could just have been like, damn, I've been with Therese so long. I just want to feel high. Sometimes it it doesn't it, it doesn't always have to mean something. Get your drunk. Now, will I, yes, when you're drunk, it doesn't always. When now, would drunk, I be you mad? Know, when you're drunk, you know that a dude is interested in you when you're drunk and he's tipsy. I'm talking about you drunk as a woman, you're drunk. Me drunk. Like oh. not even... See, let me tell you. Okay. I don't know how people say they drink. And they get horny. That does not work. It's sleep. What? Like it, it, it's not, I've, it's not something that works for me. I don't know how people drink and they're like, oh my God, I can't go home. Nah, I'm trying to sleep. That's it. Even if I'm with my partner, I am just trying to see. See, my see this is not about oh, you. Nah. See, oh, this nah. is not you. You see. just said, I was talking about the guy. You said no, no. See, about see, hold me. on. And I'm see, you, hold on, you, hold on. This is what I'm saying. No, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't get don't get, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. When I said it's not about you, I'm saying that you are drunk. And dude is tipsy. That's what AK said. You are drunk and he's tipsy. 
So when you are drunk, you're telling me that when you get drunk, you still know what you, you are aware of the stuff you do. It means you're that's not drunk. That's why I'm telling you, that's why I said from the beginning that, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm in a situation like that, I have to go back to the hotel room with my friend. I don't drink to where my senses are impaired. What part of that you guys know here? No, I don't you go are, out you're, you're, and we're, drink. We're saying you're already drunk. We're not saying that you are not going. We're saying that you are drunk. We have already cleared the fact that you are not. You are not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know because I've not been in that situation. Exactly. Yet. So we're just saying that if you get drunk, it can happen. That it's a possibility, get... but I don't put myself in a place where I have to find out. Perfect. Me too. I don't put myself in a situation where I can do that. But I'm saying that I have friends who've been telling me the day you get drunk, we want to see you, so you say your secrets and all those kind of things. You understand? But I'm saying that I, for one, the lady that I spent a room with, I shared a room with. She was a colleague. We we're just working together. But have I ever slept with in a room with a girl I consider just a friend till morning? No way. That's not going on. I'm a man. So you rather spend a share hotel room with a co-worker than a friend? Thank you. I would do that. Okay. There are restrictions. Because I don't, first of all, have those kind of female friends. I don't make, I don't have female friends like that. It's either you're my girlfriend or we are just, um, how you call them? Accomplices or what? Is that accomplice or how you call them? Acquaintance. Acquaintance. Yeah. Now, see, here's my thing with that, That's right? And that, might, and that might work for you, Accomplice. yeah? But here's my thing. I, I only do this, I would, not like it's something wrong or they i only do this because i'm single if i have a partner i would not be doing all of this just out of respect for that person not because that i'm afraid that i would do something or i would just not i would not be in a relationship and like unless my partner knows this person and they're okay with it to some kind of extreme something happens but i just would not do it out of respect of that person but now I'm solo dolo, so I, I do whatever I want. Granted. Well, granted. I, I don't understand. Totally agree with you. Go ahead, AK. Still to today, right? I will never understand how somebody can tell me, for example, that they are one married, right? On each spectrum, either spectrum, man or woman, they are married. Mm -hmm. But then they have the same sex. No, the opposite sex as their best friend. I would never Thank understand you. that concept. Thank you. It does not Thank matter you. how anybody explains it. It does not matter if you show me, even put a polygraph test on that on those two people and say, oh, that I will still not understand it. No way. Who is you supposed to be their best friend? Why do you why did you marry the person you married? Oh, uh, that's Thank what you mean. Why did you marry the person you married if you want to go still stick with the other person as your best friend? Why? I Shefty mean, has one. Shefty has one. It's semantics. It's semantics. Yeah, Let the I, liquor just, take I just over. think it's semantic <laughs> because how do I put this? And this might come from my my biased perspective, right? In the sense that I do have a best friend who's a guy, right? But here is here it is. When you become with your person, right? That's your person. But it doesn't it doesn't just Calling that person my best friend, right, does not mean they override my partner by no means. That's why I'm saying that it's semantics. Now we can call him a friend. Like him, I really don't necessarily call him a best friend. I just said my friend, you know, like he's a very good friend. But it's just to me, at that point, it's just semantics. My partner's going to be my G, ride or die, right? Of course, there'll be a shift in the relationship with that person. But that doesn't mean they stop being that to me it would change but now if i'm calling them my best friend it's just semantics my partner becomes my g while live we're doing life together now it's different there'll be that shift but it's just semantics say See, oh that's my best friend it's semantics you've used don't that word for like, don't, don't use that word then nine times if you use it nine that's times what, what does I'm, it even mean it, don't use that just, word Okay, that's what I'm, that's exactly. You just proved my point. You just proved my point. Why I say semantics? No, no, if your no, no. The problem no. is the word. Let's no, take no. it out. No, no, no. Look, look, look. It's look. more than that, but that, that's on. a start. Hold on, hold on. That's hold a start. About. Listen, the fact that the mm. fact that you're saying that it's semantic is the problem in itself. Thank you. you know, Why? You know, hold on. You know, if the tables were turned around, mm. it would not be that it's semantics. So. Oh, it will. It will be. I'm. I'm telling. I've lifted, yeah. and you know who ended up taking the cab. 
I'm not lying. Listen, don't. This is my thing when I start sharing things and you're calling cap. This is my story. It's either you hear it and you don't believe or you stay quiet. You cannot come and say cap. You know who ended up with the guy? The person I was not even checking for. Do you know why I was not even checking like that? Because I was so blinded with this is a this is a possibility because I can have that. I have that too. So I'm not very, and this might come off as this, I'm not very, like, listen, it's you I trust. If you tell me there's nothing wrong and I don't have cause to, to worry about that, then I'm not being worried about that. It's just the simple fact. I cannot keep myself over. The, if you're going to leave me, you still going to leave me, whether it's for her or somebody else. So I cannot, there are more important things that I feel like my energy can go towards. It's and not about you in that situation. Again. It's the other yeah. person we don't trust. That's, that's the problem. To me, again, that's a problem in itself. Because what? you saying that, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the last thing you said, I forgot. I was trying to think over what I was saying. Um, I forgot what you said. That um, is this you I trust. Yeah, things like that. Like when you go into when you go into a battle, mm. you just don't wake up in the morning. Well, not you, but when people go to battle, just wake up in the morning and go to battle. They've been training, practicing formations and all those things, right? So mm. if I'm coming into a relationship and flat out a woman tells me that I have a man as a best friend, red flag. Forget that shit. I'm not about to deal with this. I'm not dealing with this. It's not a topic of conversation. I'm not entertaining it. And just because I cannot understand it. Now, I'm not saying that it's not possible, right? Mm. I'll leave an anomaly, like a 1%. There's so many rich people out here, but they always say the, the 2% or the 3% or what, like the people who have the why? 1%. You know, the 1%, <laughs> there you go, right? So for my own experience of things, if somebody tells me that this is my best friend, really, I'd be like, hmm, first things first, you have you have men as best friend. Hmm, best okay. Friend, cool. man. Now, hey, man. Nah. now I'm not for, for me, I'm not even just looking at this guy. Now start looking at everything in itself. Thank you. Because if this one is this, then what about all the other friends? And then now start also looking at that person and try to picture what their own intentions are. Because me as a man, if you come and tell me that, okay, me as a woman. I know, I know, you know, all women, women, da, da, da. Why do you think that me too? I can also say that as a guy, I know guys too. And because I know guys too, I'm not going to take that as an excuse. I'm not going to, no, I refuse. And you that's fine, that's right? Fine. You're allowed to choose yeah. what you deal with, right? Even if you don't, if if you even if you don't want to be curious enough to investigate, that's your prerogative, right? Just like how a lot of women will come and see a, a guy that has a kid and be like, oh, you got a kid? your baby mama drama alert starts kicking off that may not be the case but you know what on face value this person does not want to deal with that right and you're allowed to that's perfectly fine if it, if it works for you that's your you know that's your own thing but i think that i would if i like this person i think i would at least be if someone introduced me like this is one of my closest friends if i like the person at least i would stick around even upon five seconds just to see what the dynamic is. I'm not saying that you cannot have male friends. So don't get me wrong. Oh, I know. I heard you I loud and clear. It's just, friends. we're on parallel routes right now. When, That's why I'm just like, we're not going to meet. So <laughs> when, when, when we, when we are trying to build something and you're so fixated on the fact that, oh, I have a best friend, a best friend, best friend. To me, I'm like, what are we trying to form here? I'm not trying to compare. I'm not trying to compete or anything like that. But I also do know that there comes a point in time when I step in and the person shifts. There's certain things that I automatically come and assume. What I mean, I assume, I mean, like, take over and that person just right. has to aside. You know what I mean? So if for you, you can parse these things, good for you. But the majority of people cannot do it. We can sit there and be talking and people will be like, yeah, 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 yeah. But when it comes down to really action, they'll drop the needle on it. They will throw at it. And then they'll come true. back and say that 
oh, the world is not fair. Oh, people, this. Oh, somebody dropped me. But Biko, did you understand yeah. the playing field so in which we're okay, Sorry. In oh, line no, of what you said, right, that doesn't only have to apply <laughs> to the best friend, right? It could even be a girl guest best friend that gets in the way. And I do, if you, I feel like if you are, if you are a sensible woman enough, right? Whoever that best friend is, man or woman, if you get a man that comes into your life as your man, those relationships have to shift. It has to, whether it's a man best friend, woman best friend, or somebody from the alphabet community, it has to change so that the both of you can actually get to build something together. So to me, irrespective of the gender, it has to change. Even my relationship with my close friends would have to change because now you would have to become my primary emotional support. It can't be my friends anymore. Now I can't have any little thing and I'm running to somebody else and not to you. Now, if you are not sensible enough to make that shift, regardless of the gender of your best friend or closest friends, then you have bigger problems. T, have, have you been in any previous relationship that you that you had to deal with this, having a close friend and being in a relationship? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so, so when you talk about these changes, what were the things that changed and how did your partner go about these changes? Was it something y'all came together or was it things that he was just like, I'm not rocking, and then you had to express to your best friend? How did it go about those changes that you expressed? I mean, I just mentioned, right? Your friend cannot be your first and primary emotional support. That's where it starts. Because once you start sharing emotional things, you build bonds with people, right? And you want to build that um, equity with your new person. So that shifts first and foremost automatically. If I have something bad going on, I feel like I'm crying or I got good news, you should be first on my dial board calling. I should be calling my person. Then I can call my best friend or whoever, friends. But my person should be that first point of contact for everything. And it's not like, okay, let's sit and have this conversation. It's an unspoken rules amongst us, the people that I deal with. It's, it's something we already understand. Somebody gets in a relationship, everybody hit pause. We already known ourselves for years. Letting you be with that person is not going to... It's not going to stop that friendship. So and it's not like no I'm backing off. There was no hiccups along the way. You're saying that everything just fell in place. They just Yes, knew because I'm where, not where waiting. I'm not waiting for my partner to come and have that conversation with me. I'm proactive with it. I get somebody, it's a switch. Instant. I'm not even thinking about it. But like I, I've had lots of practice to do this. That's why it's come second nature to me. I've always had guy friends always for as far back as I can even think. So I've had, it has not always been this seamless. I have to learn along the way and this, and now I'm to a point where it's instant. I don't even have to think about it. I'm proactive with it. Before the person would even want to think to say, oh, let's do the, themselves don't notice the shift. But you, sometimes you need practice to do that if you're new to this. You to this. After all said and done, I'm not practice. judging you. But sitting practice. right here, AI. Yeah. It's practice. Sitting right here, mm -mm, I don't hold. I don't have any of such women. I would consider my very, very good friend or best friend. Even if, as a matter of fact, if you ask me if I have a best friend, I don't think I have a best friend. I have homies who have become brothers. Yeah. Okay. I like from the top of my mind. Who is my best friend? I don't have a best friend. I've never had a best friend. I don't friend. even like because that word. Moment, I don't like yeah, that the word you, best friend. The moment I you don't. messed up, the moment you messed up, I don't think so. I think yeah, I have I have Solo, Ozopolini, I have Elson. Yeah. That's I would sit and tell you those are my brothers. I don't even look at them as friends because this issue, best friends, you can easily switch that person just from one Kongosa. <laughs> the person is your arch enemy, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I've never been in a situation where I will look at somebody and give them that pride of place. Or oh, the person says you're pride of place in of life. Us, everything changes. Yeah. Like you're a woman that, and if you are this good as a woman, as a friend, why can't you become my wife? Why would you want to stay at a level of friendship? See, I'm, I'm so, look at it. You know, this thing, because uh, I have taken upon myself, you know what I mean, to 
look at some people, like, you know, most of my peers, like people I'm close with who said that, you know, they were, they were best friends or opposite. And then it's my question was simple. Hey, so before you guys became this thing, was they, did you guys cross out sex? Meaning you spoke exactly. about it, you had sex exactly. and all of that. If no, I said, okay, no problem. I would just sit me back and monitor them very well and watch. Nine mm. out of 10 times, one person, end up doing it. one Phil. person has been feeling that way and just waiting. Thank you. Waiting, Thank you. waiting. That's, that means that the other person gets in a relationship, come, this other person has so much support for them. I'm like, God damn, you, you, you frighten me, man. You frighten me. But anyways, <laughs> uh, on continue, you know, you frighten me, but you're doing a lot of work. But at the same time, I just want to understand that uh, 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 this thing that's back of your mind, if this woman just lay there and just open the seal to okay. I think okay. you sell spices. <laughs> okay, you're grooming. Okay, you're grooming someone's wife. You're grooming someone's wife for the future husband. The question is, who is grooming your own wife for you? Bam. You're spending all this, you're spending all this effort and time. You're investing in helping one person. You will tell them, oh, do this. Oh, if the guy's doing this, or oh, I know when the guy's flirting or when the guy's cheating. You're doing all these things, you finally get married. Who is grooming your own lady for you or your own husband? Bam. They are doing, like AK said, you're doing the, the Lord's work. I see it. I think that's the caveat of having opposite sex as friends that would last, right? If you both have not had that conversation around sex, the both of you, I don't think you guys are truly friends. If you've not hashed it out, and talk the possibilities and all that. I just, I just think that because it's something that is, is something pending. That will, it will happen one day, whether it's in conversation or action. So if the both of you have not had time to figure that out through your journey, Therese, that might be where. Therese, I would... do you know? Do you do you know the line I used to pull when I was flirting with all these ladies? I will tell what? you, hey, I don't want to have, I don't want to have sex with you until you want to have sex with me. So basically, I'm building that friendship and trust with you. After about one month too much, you tell me, I think you've been the perfect guy I've been looking for. Let's have sex. If I want to bounce, I will bounce. Okay, talking is not... JP, you're talking about talking one, a... one month. I'm talking... 10, Sister, hold on. Years Sister, of hold on. This, this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying to you. I'm a man. There are ladies in my life that have looked at them since when I was in primary school, hoping for the day I will hit it. I finally met in the university. Okay, throughout the life, the life in the neighborhood, we're just like, hello, hi, how are you? Hello, hi. In college, I expressed myself. And she said the same thing. I've been looking at you too. I thought you were dating this girl. I thought you used to like this girl in lots. I thought you used to like this guy. Nothing was going on. I'm not denying what you're saying. We can talk about stuff, but you cannot stop your heart from loving someone. Action versus words. Those are two different things. You can talk and tell the person, yes, I want to be with you in this safe space. This is my safe heaven. The moment you feel that sentimental attachment, which is erotic, it's going to beat that fear of love. You end up sleeping one another. That's Again, my take. If you hear I, what I just, I'm saying, I, that conversation, it's not a... And sometimes, like I said, it would happen at some point. Sometimes you get your wires crossed, right? Especially when someone has been through the rough times with you and has walked you through some emotional stuff. There's been times when I've looked at my friend and I was like, could I have loved this person? No, I was not in love with them. It, what I was just feeling was overly supported at that time. But then those are things, we are all humans. I'm not saying that, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you will have guy friends and then all of them, you will be, whoosh, your brain is blocked. Sometimes with some people, your wires will get crossed. That's why you still sit and you have conversations with those people. And that's why it's, and it's possible to start us as genuine friends and along the way, both of you develop feelings and maybe you end up together. But you have, it's a constant conversation. You, If you are having an opposite person, sex in close proximity with you, that is a conversation that never stops. Unless they're ugly. Then it's continue. Yeah. Well, yes. I think, I think my unless, question, thank you, my boy. Stop. Unless they're ugly. You're telling me no, that my, my main guys. thing is Go ahead, bro. T, if, if you said you've had opposite sex friends for years, my only thing is is like, are these guys supportive? Like for instance, if if we have male best friends, they want to see you be the best. They're gonna to try to hook you up with a girl. If you know you're trying to be in a relationship, they want to see you at your best, you know, be your best person. So with these opposite sex 
uh, male best friends or good people, are they actually like on your team? Are they vying for you? Like, yo, T, how's it going? How did that date go? This, this, and that. Or are they just people who are just there to just take in whatever you give them? Are they actually pushing for you to like, you know what I'm saying, meet that person? Or they're just there as, you know what I'm saying, for whatever you tell them, you know that I can talk to him and tell him about this and that. No, I mean, I would think that that's your first requirement for friendship, right? As someone who's on your team, whether guy or girl. And no, I'm saying, saying by actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by actions. Absolutely. The person, one of the persons that checks me the most is one of my guy friends. And he'll tell me. And I'm going to tell you that I am a better, I'm a better woman because of him. And he'll tell me, he's like, the way you just spoke, I know you didn't mean it. That sounded disrespectful. You shouldn't talk, you shouldn't talk to a man like that. Or he'll say something like he'll check me instantly. See, see, we have to go. But I'm sitting here looking at you like this. I see a woman and a man who has made you the best person you are. And you want to leave that dude and get married to someone else. Who no, might no, no. When best. I say he has I said he helped, I'm not saying he. I still he have helped. to do the work. Yes. Yeah. He, Good. So I'm just saying this. No, no. It's, it's just, just, just my instinct. You know, we, we are not mm -hmm. going to think alike. We're different. I'm just sitting here looking at you. That's why I keep telling my sisters all the time. You are looking far away for a husband, while the person who's supposed to be your man is right next to you, and you have contracted oh, that, that person. Not, you. Not, you. That. not you. 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 You've converted that person from a lovebird to a doormat that you can clean, you can step on whenever you think you're having these critical, crazy moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, want to, I want to use a doormat uh, theory. Don't, don't, get me, don't get me wrong. You okay. go there, you clean your shoes each time you have dirt under your shoes, okay? You're cleaning the shoes. What you have to do is take that doormat, dust it, and flip it over, and make it your blanket to keep you warm at night when you're sleeping. But instead, you're resorting to getting the bare minimum where you could get the optimum point of it which is absolute love. That's my take. No one is right. No one is wrong. We're going to come back to this. I know we have to go. No. <laughs> we didn't even get to talk about other things. No, see, you can, yeah, you're going to give, go, go up, go up. I know you have to get your clothes off. Go Me? ahead. No, what? Yeah. I don't have oh, any wait, I thought you were trying to say something. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, cool, cool. All I'm just I will, saying, I will hit, I will, I will hit. all I'm just saying is go. we have mentors. We have mentors, you know, we have best, you know, quote unquote, best friends. We have good friends, friends who actually do care for you. And then we have the rest. You know, the rest will come in any order. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, if someone is mentoring me in certain aspect of things, they're not necessarily my best friend. If somebody is, I don't even know, man. One of these days, we need to start defining what a best friend is. Before I start even talking these things, let's start defining these words. Somebody has to define to me what a best friend is because, you know, even when somebody says, oh, AK is my best friend, I've said, who, me? I'm this body me like this. Damn, you are that's cool, You're telling, cool, you telling somebody I'm your best friend. I don't even know I'm your best friend. How can, how can you tell somebody I'm your best friend? Maybe it's a different AK that I don't know, but this one, I don't feel like I should be anybody's best friend. I don't want to be. Because you know what? When I feel, I don't want you to come and tell me that, damn, bro, I no, I'm not. You know, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Please don't. I'm gonna just say this right now. Don't use my name and best friend in the same picture if you're not my significant other, because I don't know how that works. So yeah. AK, you are my best friend. Yeah, I'm your last. Anyways, um. <laughs> <laughs> you're my to favorite laugh to that. We're not, we're not supposed to laugh to that, man. That is not cool, man. Uh, I knew he was gonna say something. <laughs> But now nah, you're good, man. You're good, man. You're good. You're, good. you're good. You're my brother, man. You're my brother. You know what I'm saying? You're my brother. That's what you are, dog. So, Someone you can trust with your life who has seen the best and worst part of you. <laughs> Whenever you need someone to talk to. That's what a dictionary says. That's what it says, part. best friend. I honestly yeah. don't like that word. I really don't. Who has seen the best and worst part. <laughs> yeah, best and worst part. I mean, some <laughs> people have seen my best and worst part and I don't know. Well, to be honest with you, all those I ever trusted and I called best friends, 
I always feel like there's a stab at the back because you take all so much love that you can divide and then you take and give to one person. And when the person, you put all your eggs in one basket, when the person runs away with it, the person becomes your ash enemy. I cannot say names, the amount of people I've seen in Minnesota who used to be birds of a feather. Wherever they are, you will see this person. But today, when I mentioned the other person's name on the phone, they are like, please, I'm going to throw up. What mm -hmm. happened? Mm -hmm. They were not real friends. Mm -hmm. They were never friends. That, that, sometimes that, 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 sometimes that, in boarding that, school, I will go get, bro, let me just run up. I will go get the guy that was, who had the best shoe because I can't, have, I can't get that shoe. I will make that person my friend because I was getting closer to my dreams. That was not the best friend. That was acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Over to you, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lord, you were saying something. Oh, I was saying that typically when you, you the story of your Minnesota Kafoyash, that's that's typically a story about women. Women are different, emotional beings. When they say, "Oh, that's my best friend, girl," I beg. Growing a woman, that that business, I never even look at it as anything. I've seen it happen too many times, and it's like, yeah, we were close. I'm like, yo, y'all were like this. What, what happened? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so this, like, I didn't like the way she was moving. She was moving. Look, I said, man. Ever since that day, I was like, yeah, when y'all, when girls are so close, I'm like, man, whatever. Because one little argument, I'm like, you don't come to, because the girl didn't come to your birthday dinner, y'all not friends anymore. Get out Thank of here. You. That was Yeah. A, yeah. That was, oh, you're so in a women group cannot where... win. They cannot have female nah. friends. I don't, want, no. I don't want to limit, don't, do don't want to limit want, it to what women, do you though. What do you want us to do? <laughs> be, be honest. Be honest. Be truthful to yourself. There's no way I can truly love a woman and she's just my friend. No way. You That's know, happening. The, way, the, way, the, way, the, way, the way I really know that, you know, a woman to a woman, for example, you know, and I'm just like, you cannot tell me that this woman is my best friend. You know, if, if a woman introduced me to her friend, I said, this is my best friend. You know what I'm saying? My own way to tell that this is not your best friend is I was scan her from head to toe. If one side of her eyelashes are longer than the other side, then that's not your best friend. Because why the heck did you, you let your best friend walk out of the house? Like Thank you so that. much. If her wig, you, so you could see that line that, you know, <laughs> Shows that like fish that net, that fish yeah, that fish are netting. Net yes. yes, yes, yes. That's yes. it. That's it like that. Yeah, bro. That's okay, you're bringing up. Let me just. Okay, you're your, bringing up let another me help topic. People out with that Go problem. Ahead. It's Go ahead. because women, when women like women, they don't like. They are afraid to hurt each other's feelings. That's why you will see somebody go out and their makeup. A lot of their makeup is shifted somewhere here, or their dress is ugly. People like they're afraid to tell them that is for that reason nah i personally nah, think that not... i mean i mean no no i would that's yes I, I i i understand that aspect as well but in 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 addition to that let me not say but in addition to that if you ain't really my friend bro because first of all do you know do you know i mean do you know how bad that also makes you look if your friend is looking crusty and you allow them to go out looking like that and you standing right next to them there are only two. There are two. It's either you don't want her to overstunt you and you purposely don't tell her so that you can be the good looking one and be the better option or better pick, or you genuinely just are an asshole and you just don't care uh, about it. Lord, that tells me you don't know women. You don't know that women don't like to have hard conversations, conversations that make them uncomfortable. Well, that's a woman. Saying, oh, that's they don't a, like. They don't like to have that amongst themselves. Saying, well, yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's something that is not in women's. Now, not to say that women don't do it, but in general, it's not in our forte to have uncomfortable conversations. So amongst she would herself. rather. She amongst would herself. rather. She would rather let you go out like that than confront you and say you got ah. two left shoes on. T. T. I was saying. I'm just thing. letting you know now. I, was I, I wasn't. Again. I wasn't disagreeing with you, by the way. I will say this again. And I'll stand by it, like they say, I stand on business. If I meet two women and I'm talking to them and they say, this is my best friend and this is my best friend. And I turn and I see something wrong with this one. And I look at this one and I know that you've seen that this one was this and you didn't say it. I beg, that was, that's not your best friend. Because regardless of what, regardless of what, it does not matter what spot in them you are hitting. You are telling them what is. And if you are worried that you telling them this will lead to something, then that's not your friend, man. You are just there because you want something. Mm. Let's get it straight. Okay. Stand, stand on that okay. Yeah, let me, let me just read Andre. this. Right then. Okay, we can call it. Uh, take a moment to celebrate your friends, both near and far, by exploring the eight definition. The eight, defini the eight defining characteristics. So the eight, eight of these are characteristics of a best friend. Number one, telepathy. 
Number two, honesty, humor, empathy, generosity, trust, encouragement, and steadfastness. So number two, honesty. If you cannot be honest and tell a woman that your, your high is looking this way, that is not your friend. It's really not. I don't care what I say. We we, we cannot have the difficult conversations or whichever. Yeah. Anyways. I like the way I like the way you said I, but hi. Like your high, your high is looking. When you're high, it's going one place. This guy, I was talking. I was in that job for a second. You know what I mean? But anyways, man. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's bring some more women on. You know what I mean? I have this particular conversation because I feel like, anyways, since Tayo has been slacking, let me take it upon myself. You know, um, you've been showing up late these days too. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you are getting a wax on, wax off before you come on. But anyways, man, it's up to you. I see. No, sir. Shep T got the ladies coming. Don't worry. Don't worry. The way they, 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 they've been in queue, but, you know, tax season, a lot of stuff has been, has been going on, but the schedules are getting freed up now, so... I don't know. I don't know if I can believe you, bro. You started like 18 times, DJ. <laughs> that <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> You got to build it up, man. You got to build it up, but don't worry. And I might, you know what? I might bring all three of my female best friends on, on the one. I, I, I really, I love that. Uh, I hey, love do it. it. Let's, which yeah. one? The SA one? Is that one still oh, one? Oh, yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then all of you, will that destroy my friendship? <laughs> because... No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. The fact that you're going to bring three ladies is going to speak a lot about you. Okay. Only it only only it only it true guy like you who is in a very confused state of mind will keep three girls as best friends. Facts. Uh, re repeat that That's again. Me. That was, I, I can never ears. repeat it. I have very small. You have stuff. to you have to watch this again. <laughs> you have to watch this again. <laughs> All the way to here to get that one. <laughs> you have to watch it this went again. Went right over his head, just like <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't even say one. But he didn't say one. He said three. Three. You have three of them. Three. Nah, and you're happily up, telling me you're single. Chop. Stop stop getting this relationship misconstrued. Taking and he's saying that, and, making and, he said, and he's saying that he's looking for the one. Just looking for the one. Again, nah, I, already, already, I already know this. who my girl is, first and foremost. Y'all don't get How would you script. know? How would you know? Lord knows best. That's how I know. This is your honest for Gezi. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys i don't think we're gonna have time for questions tonight we're running out of time but i uh, just want to throw this real quick um uh, open question everyone since we're talking so much about um best friends and something just just to make it very short give us an instance where you think you betrayed a best friend we betrayed a best friend yeah i can go first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was in boarding school and my road dog had a girlfriend, he left school, traveled, and I did it his girl. So, yep, he left school and I did it his girl. I was not, very, not so proud of it, but guess what? She needed a man and I was the right man at that time. And I was her best friend, just like T was saying. I was her best friend. So she came to me and cried and I couldn't do anything. And I wrote the letter to my friend telling him, can I date your friend? Can I date your girl? He said, yeah, go for it. And I was giving the approval, and I went and I did it. Wow. Everyone, so anyone you, went, so what, anyone went, that's anyone, not betrayal. That's not betrayal. That was, that was betrayal. That was betrayal. You got the there green light. No way. There is no way if you love a friend, like I say, my my guy, and I date his woman. And you call that That's another friend. conversation that, that will have us stay here mm -hmm. for the next yeah. two hours. But Yeah, oh, well. that was a betrayal to me. Because I felt bad about it. Each time I think of it, I'm like, whoa, why did I do that? That's me. Uh, you can feel bad all you want, but I know you were filling her guts. <laughs> and you ain't feel bad after that. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> yeah, sitting here telling us I feel bad. I, I, I was felt betrayed. Bad. I felt bad. Man, get out of here. <laughs> okay. I won't want to open this up again, but to be very honest with you, I was with this girl for a long time before anything came. Like we were together through high school. And to make the story very interesting, the day she finished her advanced level, she wrote me a lot. She wrote me a dumping letter. She dumped me before I even started my advance. She dumped me like, I don't want to be with you no more. It was a mistake. I went back After to I left school, I went. The other guy was out of the picture. Oh. So Damn, that was, was a great Anyone, road anyone, road. anyone, yeah, it was crazy. So anyone who knows this story will know the lady I'm talking about. She's now married, you know. But 
yeah, I feel I felt bad about it. Sometimes I'll be like, whoa, but it was really long because we were together for like six years. Yeah, we were together for like six years and sex was never an issue. It was never anything. We just like basically boy and girlfriend way. And yeah, it was a, it was a remarkable. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Rez, you fool. AK, AK, say something. Say I'm something. Just trying, what about you? What I'm just you? trying to imagine to myself, man, how can I... <laughs> How can I date a girl that my man's dated, man? Like, it's nah, never, never, never. I just cannot. I do. Cannot. <laughs> now, if you say yeah. wipe, that's a different thing. Date, no. Yeah. yeah, I can't date. Yeah, I can't date. Wiping, yeah, sure. But, hey, yeah. Let me blow your mind one more time. Mm-hmm. One time, I had a girlfriend. She told me, I've tried to come to the US three times and I haven't gotten a visa. Go ahead and date my friend. I went and dated her friend because she told me to date her friend. Do you know who her friend was dating before she came to me? My cousin. And I gave my cousin to that girl. Next person. At this point in time, you guys... When there's around, comes around. At this point in time, you guys were doing trade fair. You know, you guys were trading <laughs> fairly. But anyways, this so, is... Yeah, go on. Okay, your turn. What did you do? Ran out for gone. You guys were just having gone shot. Um, and what... I never had. A, I don't think I've had a best friend per se. But what have I, have I done? Um, if in anything, it's just along the lines of you know, like probably a girl that we're messing with. I ended up messing with two at the same time. You know, um, that's pretty much it. Anything else? You know, just have a normal, usual guy banter and things like that. Fight and get back together. You know, things like that. But we we'll say things. But nah, I think we we'll just be like the sexual thing. You know, so that's a girl that you know the homie he too. Okay, so you betrayed your best friend one time. No, I don't know about the best friend part, because okay. yeah, well, I mean my close friend, but no, um, maybe if I did, they never said, you know, they just acted like it was cool, you know, they never really said that. Hey, man, like you heard me, you know, hitting that per se, but I don't know. Do you have a best friend in Texas? Do I have a best friend in Texas? I have a brother. I don't have a best friend. He's a brother, huh? Yeah, it's my, it's my, my homie. I'll play the feet. I will not say this here. I'm coming to your phone. I'm texting you after that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you lie. For sure, for I sure. Like you, I just feel I like, best I feel like I don't best friend. I don't know what. I feel like you lie. I feel like you're lying because you told me something. I'll, I'll come to your phone. You tell me. Yeah, come and tell me this thing that I told you, please. I'm waiting. Yeah, because the dude, the dude came to you with questions. And you were like, it is what it is. Okay, T, over to you. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, come on. Think about it. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. See, did you ever? Shoot, I don't know. Not that I can remember. Okay. I've that I've betrayed. Lord, what about you? Did you ever? What no. You oh wow. No. I don't I don't I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't say best friend or betrayal and combine us two. Nope. Um, but it's always usually like a male friend that, you know, like how AK was saying, like, oh, like my guy would, would like go back and forth and, and then it's like, we squash it, but we're, we're men, we're boys. It's like, it's whatever, bro. Like that wasn't your girl for real, for real, because if she let me hit, like, oh, if, if she was hollering at me and that let that slide, that that really, 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 really wasn't your girl. What about you just but, being a weak man? You're yeah. weak. We, we, hell nah. I'm more like the weekend. I'm a good time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> weekend. Okay. You go ahead, okay. dog. Wrap up. Okay. <laughs> Chef T, did you ever betray a best friend? Nah, it wasn't my best friend. Um, maybe a close friend at the time, but um, I think it's similar to like the other guys. Um, maybe someone that you know wasn't their girl, but you just knew someone that like. You know, that was just around the way. And it was like, hey, I mean, uh, I think the only thing I'll say in the sense that like might have felt like betrayal or whatnot was like the fact that I'm seeing him when I'm with the girl at her place and he's coming and he's trying to like, you know, knock or ring the doorbell and she doesn't answer, say nothing. And I kept that for a minute. And then it was like later on down the line, it was like, hey, just let you know that day when you rang, 
Yeah, she was with me, so that was the reason. But hey, hey, you we, know, we got damn, over. you're a dog, man. We got over it, but it wasn't like <laughs> you had damn. the funny thing is I'm looking at her like I know damn well you're not about to get this bear. It's like <laughs> Oh my god. So, oh my it god. wasn't the trailer. Like it wasn't his girl. It was just like, you know, a guy thing. And then we we you know, we're like, hey bro, you hey, you good. I, I would have done the same thing. So it was like, hey. <laughs> wow. Okay. So well, that's the closest. Both, both but, but, right not now. not dating or nothing like that. Just not. Hmm. Just about it. she wasn't she wasn't into threesomes. Nah, I, I was not about to do that. Nah, not not at that stage. No, I was oh. not. <laughs> I was still, I, I wasn't there yet. <laughs> I was not there. You're very professional, Abby. I feel for you, bro. I feel hey, like relax, you, relax. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he wasn't there yet, but now he has arrived. He professional. No, okay. No. Okay. I have disappeared. Okay. I have teleported. I'm gone. <laughs> so Keep you... my at your mouse. I'm, I'm not there. <laughs> so I mean, you guys I mean, know, I mean, quiet. you guys know how I got closure from my stuff that I did? My closure that I got was the fact that I remember that one of our friends was a person that was instead interested in this lady. So he had sent the other homie to go hold this lady for him or hold the lady for him. So he went and instead converted that lady to for himself, just like AK and his friend, you know. So this dude sent this guy to go talk to this lady and the dude went and took the lady. Then when it was my turn now, I went and I took the lady. So it was like a chain reaction. So you got to get my closure. Twice. Yep. Thank hey. you. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get my closure. Okay. So let's not be as a <laughs> sign my conscience is, is beating me like, okay, you know, but that's what happened. So A sent her, B went and took the lady, then C, that was me, came back now and took the same lady. So that's what happened. But now we are all happy where we are. Everyone is happy. But have, Chef T yeah. is the bad one. Chef T is the bad one for tonight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, my story was just like the others, just maybe you a little more. In depth. Homie, you, no, you nah. seen your homie real in real time, and you nah. told the show not to answer the door. Now you say, Hey, right. hey you said Come on, ignore man. the door. That's witchcraft. Yeah, nah. and you had a gun on you. Yeah, I'm telling you, and you had a gun on this, you. This, you gotta this, wait your turn, man. It wasn't his turn. <laughs> this man was like, mm -hmm. like Snoop Dogg and Baby Boy. Like, the early bird gets the word, bro. The early bird gets the word. <laughs> man, listen, man. Listen, listen. This recording, man, we got to, you know, we got to take a chill pill right now. You know what I mean? Let's not give too much. Come back next week. We're going to have more for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Leave your own comments at the bottom, you know. If you think that man, woman can be best friend, leave a comment below. Let us know. You know what I mean? We would like to hear your opinions. If you have a story, a very foul story of something that you did to your best friend, that you wronged them, whether you guys rekindled it or you did not, let us know too. We'd love to hear your stories. You know, share with us on this YouTube comments, Instagram comments, Twitter comments, or Palm Wine Central Podcast or PWC Cast. We would love to hear your stories. If you think that, you know, we all jumped on Teres and we bamboozled her with our voices, no problem. If you think... You know what I mean? She bamboozles us with her voice. Let us know. Let us know. We'd love to hear all the comments. We want you guys to comment. Let us know. Anyways, man, guys, final words before we close the episode? I just want to read this real quick before we go. I think just a comment that I saw from uh, the podcast we had previous one we had. So um, there was a, this podcast has quickly become one of my favorites. Always a pleasure to listen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dojin. Dojin was my game and CISO. Yeah, uh, the podcast is very interesting. Not watching, blah, 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 blah. okay. I want to be part of this. Somebody wants to be part of it. That's good. Mm, yeah, so please just keep the comments coming. Yeah, are you all Cameroonians asking for my friend <laughs> that is sleeping? <laughs> are you all Cameroonians? Yeah, that was a question too. So please just keep your questions coming and we're going to read them once in a while. And feel free if you want to join, you can also uh, just send a message through WhatsApp or Instagram and we'll get to you. Okay, back to you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, too, if there are questions that you like for us and, you know, for us to answer, too, you know, shoot them in the comments, you know what I mean? And we'll talk about them, you know, on, on this platform. But just... Or the DM if you don't want to be seen asking the kind of question. Okay, okay. <laughs> but we'll give you a handle when we ask the question. Ah, this person said this. So... <laughs> nah, just no? Joking, just joking, just joking. Just joking. Space, it could be, space, it could be space. anonymous. Matter of fact, let's make everything anonymous so you guys can really send your questions without 
you know, um, um, yeah, send it because not everybody's looking at the, at, you know, at the DMs anyways. Only one person here sees the DMs. Only one person, guys. So whoever is that person, please don't tell the rest of us who it is. Just give us the questions. Who you know will answer. But anyways, we want real questions, um, challenging questions, and questions that you know, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um, will get us thinking. Will get us going. You know, we make this thing really fun, fun, fun. And for, most for, of all, for the Full disclosure, nobody asks me about my thumb anymore. I don't want to hear any more questions about my thumb. <laughs> All right. That's that's okay. a that's Sorry. a that's a personal non grata. <laughs> okay, you forgot oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy's on still. That guy. What guy? That guy's on, at least. We didn't hear from him. Who is this? I just that's his name, right? That's, that's yeah. what he says, but that guy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't think I don't know. I didn't hear from Aziz, so I don't know if he's okay. on or whichever. I don't know if he's halfway, halfway, if he's traveling, whichever. I don't know, man. But um, okay. yeah, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Another episode in the bag. Um, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot was said in this episode. Um, hopefully, you know, some of you can take it with a grain of salt, or you can drink the entire salt bottle. Be that way. Mm -hmm. It's that own truth. Wash your own. You know what I mean? What's your own? What are you dealing with? What are you struggling with? What are your victories? Let us know all these things in the comments. T, Chef T, Baba Lord, MCJB, I'm Uncle AK. This is the Palm Wine Central Podcast. I know group, whatever you call it, mix, whichever. You know what I mean? We come here every Wednesday and, you know, we get to talk our truth. We get to talk our shit. We get to talk our, we get to make sense, not make sense, whichever. Um, but at least we're having fun. I hope you guys are having fun too watching. Catch us on the next one. We are Audi. <laughs>